two. What up, everybody? It's June 15th, Wednesday. Here is Ethan Klein. <laughs> Sorry, not beautiful. Man, it is Wednesday, man. Shout out to our- <laughs> <laughs> it is. Stop. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, I would like to see a tutorial of how you just the thought process that goes into those acts. Those are all you, right? Yeah, that's all me. That was a great one. Thank you. Thank you. I'm wondering if we can phase out the gunfire. Okay. I can uh I can try something different. You know, yeah. it's been long enough. You're right, right, right. But the it's Wednesday gets me every time. Because it is Wednesday, that's why it's so funny. It is Wednesday. Man. And then not Same. beautiful. Sorry, not sorry, beautiful. sorry, not beautiful. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. Sorry we were so late going live, you know, uh, it's bring your kid and pets to work day today. And it's pure chaos, actually. Mm-hmm. So. Fun. Yes. Fun and cute, though. <laughs> Um, obviously the title, as much fun as we're having here at the top of the show, the title is a little bit foreboding. Uh, well, I'm actually really sad to say, should we do it? Should we just do the announcement now or should we wait? I think we should wait. It would ruin the vibe too much, honestly. <laughs> it's sad, man. While the crew is breaking up, someone, I mean, the crew is breaking up. What can I say? Some... Uh, they're going out to do their own project. Which is fine, you know, I support that. I think it's great. I think, you know, if someone wants to go their own way, then I support them 100%, and I think we should all support them and just be happy for the time we had. It's together. Like Fleetwood Mac said. What did Fleetwood Mac say? You can go your, go own, your own way. way. Oh. You can, can call, it call it another, another rainy Should we take a vote? Wait, let's take a vote. Who do you, who, which of the crew members do you think is leaving? I know exactly who they're going to say. And they're probably right. Let's do, a, let's do a vote. Who do you guys... Let's put... Well, let's just be honest. We know Zach's not leaving. Zach will never leave, okay? Olivia just got back, so she's not leaving. So between Dan, A.B., Ian and Cameron or Love options on the poll. Well, it's obviously not Cameron or Love since I was like Cameron or Love. So Sam, but it's obviously not Sam. Fuck. All right, it's either A, B, Dan or Ian. Uh, who's Sam? Hi. Stop it. <laughs> Don't make me relive that, Zach. Yeah, I'm just curious what people think, you know, and like I said, not everything's forever, and, um, why did you add that? It was the fourth option, Dan, that's fucking ridiculous. But that's not true, why are you misleading them? Wait, why did you do that, Dan? It's not the fourth option. Dan is being a dick. <laughs> dude, you really fucking thumped that pole, dude. <laughs> bad pole. Sure, bad pole. Sorry. Such a bad moment to make a joke. You know what's down. interesting? I thought for sure it would be AB, just because you have your own channel and stuff. Mm -hmm. But actually, the, the winner right now, if you ignore Stop Trolling, is Ian. Mm. He, people think Ian is fed the fuck up. Thought, thoughts on that, Ian? <laughs> Ian thoughts. I don't know why. They think you're leaving. I'm here. So you're not leaving. Dude, I thought it was going to be 100% me. Yeah, me too. I thought it would be for sure AB. Tyler donated $10 nowhere, said, baby. Dan is leaving to be the producer for Fresh and Fit. 
Also, Dan, I don't know if this is interesting to you, but you got the least amount. People are least convinced you would ever leave me, Dan. That's because they know I'm a real one. <laughs> you know, they call me Dan the Hater, but they know deep down. I don't know why people I'm think... fucking ride or die, baby! I, uh, by January, I will have been here for five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're tired of Half it. A Just decade. admit it. I'll be here in five years. I think Wait, I've been here five years. You and Dan I'll have be here been for here for five years. Like I think, like next week. Is that right? Yeah. I have. I should have Holy everyone's shit. anniversary written down. But you guys started around the same time, right? I started uh, probably three months before Ian. Yeah. I started interning in uh, August, but I wasn't like full time until December. Right, and I. That's the thing is I officially came and worked for you full time in July, but I came and started switching the show and everything for you guys. It was late June. So yeah. Yeah, it's it, it incredible be, how you guys like so and then Zach has been here quite a bit long time. Too. Coming up on uh, four years in That's August. That's incredible. Yeah. Thank you guys for your loyal service. And even A B who is seem who's in her newest edition, how long you've been here don't uh, say two years. August will be two years. What? Yeah, same here. Two yeah. I started years? in August, too. Mm -hmm. Dude, you guys moved here two years ago? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, time flies. It still Dumb feels like you're the new AD. guy, kind of. Sort of. It is weird, because between me and Zach, there was like a, what, like two-year gap? And then after me, we have added like four more in the past year. That's nuts. Yeah. Right, you said yeah. AB is our latest edition, but we, we have like four more people you're right. after that's, AB, that's, I don't know. Yeah. I think. I mean, it feels like he's new to, still, to, but at this point, he's a veteran. <laughs> Sam's been here way longer than you and Olivia. I'm, I'm the middle child, the awkward <laughs> middle child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, the truth is that um, AB is leaving. Yeah. He has decided own. to pursue his own solo YouTube career, and, and you know, we support him from that. I appreciate that. And uh, two years together is. I'm just happy that we had this time together, and. Um, you know, I'm always going to support you, bro. Thank you. Oh, fuck yourself, you stupid piece of shit, A.B. <laughs> Keemstar, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And I'm going to miss Lena, too. Man, she's the best. Yeah. She's or is, she, is she going with you? or she She's going with me. Yeah. Okay. It Just was make tough it to sure. convince her, but... It was cool of you to let him keep using the name H3, though, Ethan. No, you can't use H3. Oh, that... I thought... I'll sue you if I you do that. I, I support you I to a limit. You said, I, I thought call you said my channel cool Star Killer H3 from yeah. now on. I, hell no, bro. Star Killer from H3? Or maybe we could do like a Prince thing. Like, Are you going to kick me back some? I'll, yeah. All right, we'll talk we'll about it. We'll start like an show. affiliate program. Okay. Yeah. I jump on that. Like episode. some Fine Bros shit. Yeah. <laughs> React. Or it could be like Star Killer formerly of H3. Right. Like a Prince you could, thing. Um. Uh, I guess that's more accurate. You could do H. You could do of formerly, of H three podcast. Oh, okay, that works. H three clan, like Phase Clan, it could just kind of be like this extended network. No, but in truth, guys, uh, the actual so we're, the actual news is actually much sadder than that. Mm. The real news is that. Um, BTS is breaking up, not us. Fuck. And AB's not leaving. AB's not leaving. No. Wow. Thank you guys, by the way, for your loyal, uh, your loyal service. Of course. No, BTS is breaking up. It's so much sadder. Uh, and just raise the hearts, guys, if you would, please, everybody. To know we come in peace. We come in peace, BTS army. We're army too. We're fo we're the Fupa Trooper army. We fight beside you. We have a treaties, right? I can't do it. And, Jesus uh, Christ, down. Is it? And uh, is this it? Yeah, you got it, Dan. So, so the bottom of a heart is what you're making. Right. I just the mechanics. Show me how you do it. Is yeah. It yeah, you got it. Okay. All right. Or well, you did your thumb that way, but whatever you well, think. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it looks a little different. Wait, this is interesting. Is it the top of the heart or the bottom? It could be both. Now when it's I the think bottom. about it, I think it's the top. Like oh, that the... is a heart. I'm pretty sure yeah. you're making a heart with your fingers. Yeah, you're making the top. <laughs> like an actual heart, like, I think. I guess you got to use your imagination I, a little bit. Can I ask something unrelated? 
Just be polite to BTS, please. Okay, yeah, of course. And it's about love. Does love need his own shot at this point? Because his head is bigger than mine. And my ah, I love okay, it. Okay, bro, you've been complaining about <laughs> my right. screen for AB, days. I don't this know is what's getting, going on here. Yeah. AB, you were, like, hey, listen, don't shit about listen, me shit guys. Today. This is Holy about BTS. Cow. Okay, sorry. Let's have some reverence, please. Okay, sorry. And stay focused on, right. on what's uh, important. Apologize to ARMY. I'm sorry, ARMY. Thank AB you. did that. Everyone saw that. You go, you own one more heart, AB. Hit him. Wait, what is that? Are you doing a A? Hey. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. Just no. It looks no. like you're going A. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. It's just you're two, Italian. two thingies. I was distracted by Zordon in the background. What no, 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 no. We're not doing Italian. No, no, no. Quick. <laughs> keep it, keep it sincere. All right, get get out of there. Yeah. So BTS announced during their fie Festa dinner. Celebrating the band's ninth anniversary, they made this tragic announcement that uh, rattled the world. And I'm not kidding. This this really did rattle the world. I was sad to hear it. Wait, people are saying they're not breaking up? They literally are. Hiatus. They're going on indefinite hiatus. Indefinite hiatus. hiatus, man. Do you know what that means? Yeah. One Direction is still on an indefinite Yeah, exactly. Hiatus. You know what indefinite yeah. hiatus a means? Lot, a lot of bands go on indefinite yeah. hiatus. And that's it means we're leaving we're and we're not telling you when we're coming back. Yeah. I'm still waiting Some for do the come Beatles back, to come back. I mean, there's still a chance. There's Why are people throwing tomatoes? What did I do? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? I'm being respectful king. I don't think they're throwing tomatoes because of what you're saying about BTS. Wait, why are they throwing tomatoes? Because you trolled them all. Oh, that? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You were doing, why'd you put that in the poll? I was trying to bail you out. I knew they'd get mad. Yeah, we do a little I trolling. To, I was trying we to like soften to the blow. <laughs> we like to troll. No, but this is serious, guys. Stop with the tomatoes. Let's show a little reverence for BTS Festa. Uh, here. We're gonna get claimed for this, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Let me mute it. Because obviously they're speaking Korean, so we don't they always, need... They always claim us. It's so fucked up, the, you know. The K-pop. Uh... Here, let's make it tiny, and I'll just transcribe it. Doing the festa. Should we get into that? Yeah, we're gonna talk about the direction we're taking. Since the top of our direction came up, uh, gathering like this today and shooting content. I'm so glad we're BTS. What would I do if we weren't BTS? I'm just happy being together. I started music and became BTS <laughs> because I had a message for the world. <laughs> I didn't know I would do after on. That's the name of one of their songs, I believe. But then COVID came up. Can we? Uh, let's just skip a little bit. Sorry. Go through the inner. Did did they say it yet, or when does that? Yeah, they, it was time stamped when they said it. Basically. Are you sure? Because I I clicked the time stamp and he was just talking about. He was getting to it. Well, I'm reading. I mean, this, this is not thrilling content. <laughs> I'm, re I'm trans. It, he just said it. We're taking, we're taking a temporary <laughs> break. Uh, uh, we are taking a temporary break now. There it is. Uh, can I, uh, Avi? Your timestamps sometimes they're a little late. I'll work on that. Just a note. They come in just a few seconds late. I will say I pulled that timestamp. Oh, I'm so sorry. That oh. one's on me. That that, I was trying to, I was well, trying to some, cover, so somebody's, I, somebody pulls timestamps a little bit late. Late or early? Like it's too early? No, it's early? late. Like it's after what I... Actually, if hmm. you click on it, it starts a sentence 21 before. Five. Yeah, no, it's right. Let me try it again. But, you know, I preferred early because then you have time to, I'm to get... I'm pretty sure... Let's see, let's see. 2105. 2105. So, so I just clicked it again. It says, you are a unique guy... We're taking a temporary break. Maybe the problem is you cut it too, too precise. Close. Okay. Yeah, we need a little runway. A little, all a little, right. Little so a little earlier. A little earlier. A little buffer. Got it. All Sorry, right. AB. Sorry. No, it's all good. You know. That's why I'm leaving. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So basically, our RM explained that after singles like Dynamite and Permission to Dance, they felt they lost the message they wanted to tell the world through BTS, which was... As everybody knows, it's Dan. Ev it's everyone. Everyone knows love. BTS unity. is all about love and uh, unity. Knowledge reigns supreme. And knowledge 
uh, rational society, uh, the, the beautiful world. supremacy of the proletariat over the bourgeoisie. That's a pro, class. yeah, pro, pro proletariat, mm -hmm. and knowledge reigns supreme with, over nearly everybody. With liberty and justice for, for all. all. Right. Yeah. The pursuit to life and justice. Love yourself. Love yourself. Uh, self love. Self love. Big time. That's, self love. Thank, thank you, Kat. Thank you for who And just being out. yourself, right, guys? Need a little refreshment. And community, too, was a big one. So they lost touch with all that. Dang, that's sad, dude. Still getting tomatoes in the chat. Gonna have to work on that. The management company behind BTS, Hybe, lost $1.7 billion in market value during the first hours of trading. I'm not surprised, but holy shit. That's crazy they lost them that much money. Uh, after breaking the news of the hiatus. Um, we're going on a hiatus now, Suga said. But this is when it gets really interesting. A representation for the group told CNN, to be clear, they are not on hiatus. But will take time to explore some solo projects at this time and remain active in various different forms. That sounds like they're just doing damage control. Well, I mean, there's probably a lot of music in the pipe, um, so I doubt it'll be like their last release as a group. Um, and so, you know, they got to kind of keep that hype going. Right. But, you know, uh, j just so you guys know, June Cook, actually, or, or did I say, did I, I hope I didn't say that wrong. Yoon Perfectly. Cook? June yeah, Cook? Yeah, perfect. June Cook. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, I actually don't know. Sorry. I think it's John Cock. <laughs> John Cock? It is not John Cock. <laughs> Love, what the fuck, bro? Chill. <laughs> Love. Stop. Throw up the heart. Throw up the heart. Get the heart up quick. Cock. Love, you put that shit up and you apologize right now. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. All hate can be directed to my social medias. <laughs> Yee. BTS's uh, Jung Cook, Jung Cook, released a new song called My, My You. All right, shout out. There it is, guys. That's the big news. <laughs> Whew. Did we make it through that? Sad, sad, sad news. Sad news, man. I love BTS, man. I listen to that stuff all the time. And uh, I'm just honestly not having new music. It's going to break my heart. Love those guys. Love. Do you know of any stores near where you live that uh, might sell podium that you might be able Why? to employ? Why? For, for, for an apology. For love or me? Uh, no, for him. I'll just, I'll just build it on myself. Love's the one who fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Love yeah. fucked up. John Cock. Sorry, we, we got to fire you, love. <laughs> <laughs> we got to drop you, then. Yes. Yeah, I understand. It was just his accent, okay? It was just his accent. Cock. John Cock. Yeah, I'm trying over here. I'm Cock. Like, English is my fourth language. And oh, shit wow. like that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, language barrier. Bro, that's too far, AB. Come on. Yeah, what someone the hell? says. What have I done to you? Someone says they deserve a break. They've been on. Yeah, they've been doing nonstop for nine years. And that's the truth, you know. That's the absolute truth. No, all, all kidding aside, um, yeah, I mean, these uh, K pop idols get work to the bone. And uh, I, I have to imagine after a, a decade run, um, they have. Some uh, it's incredible they vacation went that time, uh, yeah. well earned vacation time. Yeah, they, yeah, they... yeah, yeah. They're some of the hardest working, most talented guys in the world. Forget it. Everyone who works on an oil rig or like deep sea fishing, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> they don't know the meaning of hard work. <laughs> they work hard too. It's it's a different kind of it's a different kind. No, of I'm serious. Thing. Fuck them. They think they work hard. <laughs> they don't. Okay, let's move on quickly. Uh, the Frog <laughs> Army. Uh, the Frog. Now, you guys may have followed this. We got a lot of fun stuff to talk I about here today. Hear me guys lying. It's my conspiracy. So Here's the my Frog point. guy. We've been talking about Frog this guy who might be called, causing an ecological disaster. Yeah. Well, this girl has made a pretty compelling argument that he might. There might be fake. Lying. It's my conspiracy. Oh fuck you, TikTok. Fuck you. I think the Frog Army guy is lying. It's my conspiracy. Here's my proof. So he posted the video five hours ago, and basically he's like, my neighbor has to leave, there's too many frogs, um, but there's a part of the video that I recognized. Hmm. This part right here. So there's this part where like all the frogs are like jumping through this little green area, and I was like, I've seen this before. 
Interesting. It's from this video, Millions of Little Frogs by G Mike G123 on YouTube. You can How look it up. It's there. That? But here's some screenshots. So the top screenshot is from Yo. the YouTube video, um, the G Mike G. And then this bottom screenshot is from the Frog Army video. That's the same picture. So you can see there's like that little like, oh, where's the little like hay thing in both. Like it matches up. It matches up perfectly. He just took that video from YouTube. Wild part about all this is that I recognize that video because I taught a junior high science class on frogs and I used that video. And somehow that information was just stored away until right now when I apparently needed it. What a so anyway, I don't know a liar, dude. But, uh, that so wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, first of all, he definitely stole that clip. But here's the thing. He definitely got a ton of eggs and put them in his pond. That was genuine footage from the beginning. What a well, fucking piece no, of no, shit. I'm dude. questioning all. Yeah, thank you, Hassan. Um, I question it, yeah. I question all of it. But wouldn't someone have found that footage, too, now that they're on the search? Well, maybe they will now. They're going to be on the hunt. What's, what's, his, what's his TikTok? I got to I gotta go look at it now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you got, I, we've been checking on this guy, this TikToker. He said he was growing 1.4 million frogs in his pool. And everyone was like, dude, you're going to literally ruin your town. The last time I talked about this, by the way, people were making fun of me for saying, asking what do baby frogs eat? Well, I learned, because they'd be like, oh, they eat bugs. No, baby frogs eat plants, too, fuckers. They're baby frogs. They have a different diet. They're omnivores, baby. Yes, dude. How's a, ba how's a ba tiny little ba one millimeter long baby frog going to eat a fly? Well, so hold on. You just said they eat plants, too. Yeah, they all they eat. Listen, in all, addition to they say plant leaves and roots, water striders, and insect larvae. Right. But I'm just saying. So I said, what's in their diet? And everyone's like, Oh, dude, you're fucking no, dumb. No, no, no. What? That's not what people were goofing on you for. Why? Because people were goofing on you because you asked what baby frogs eat, and I said insects, and you were like, No. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You were Can wondering you... how they <laughs> catch the insects. Okay, could somebody, could somebody Except pull the clip? Boo -boo. Oh, it's in, it, uh, AB just sent it. His, All right, let's uh, see. Let's let's roll it back. Oh no, this isn't the original clip. I'm sorry. This okay. is the clip this... of the frog armies. Uh, dude. So. Here, let's check out his newest video Plus here. a bunch of frog spawns, so I rescued it all until my pond was full of one point for million frog eggs. Yeah, this could just be stock footage of somebody who uh, is a frog farmer. So this clip seems to be the stolen one, right? Uh, right here, this yeah, one. Yeah, this right here. And just all of these shots in general. Of oh, man. Millions of them. Yeah, but you see how small they are? They're so small. I was like, well, how are, these, how are they going to eat? There's not enough bugs around there to feed them all. So, man, that's crazy. This whole thing was a... This whole thing was a farce? A bamboozle. But Hopefully. unless anyone can find this footage, I'm not buying it because... Well, it's possible he used that footage just for some B-roll to sell it. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's possible. <laughs> the conspiracy music. But it seems it's like it's possible. But I don't know. Once, once that one piece of it got debunked, I I'm thinking it's it's in it's in question. Doing poolsies on everything. It's in question. Yeah. The Weasley little liar, dude. What a fucking liar, frog ass. Actually, really, really incredible what he pulled off, though. But until I, I do say, unless someone can find footage of this, of all the tadpoles and stuff, yeah, then, then I mean, there's still, it still could be legit. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> but yeah, somebody said I've never been happier for something to be not be real. That's, That's true. I mean, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's fake. Yeah, yeah me too. Bad, bad, this bad, bad. Horrible. <laughs> you do not want to release, release a million frogs on your neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Catherine donated five dollars and said, "I want to see Ethan eat butter as a sorry for being mean to BTS." I wasn't mean. What the fuck? I was respectful. As the army has spoken. Why? Because of their hot single named Butter. I assume that that's the connection, yeah. I'm not eating butter. What, what did I say that was mean about BTS? I didn't really think you were being mean either, but I am not the authority on what is mean. Well, should we do a poll? A group like BTS. Should, 
should the poll, should, just, should Ethan eat a stick of butter? No, was I mean, yes oh. or no? Because I was not. I think we know how that one would go. No, I was. Ethan mean to BTS? First of all, I'm not eating a stick of butter, so get that out of your head right now. Okay, so don't let that affect your your answer to the poll, because a, a yes does not mean that the butter is As much as I do love butter, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And BTS. And the song butter. The song butter is what I meant. Oh, well, okay. Was Ethan mean to BTS, yes or no? Asking the community right now. Stop it. You guys know I was respectful. And don't just vote yes because you think he's going to no, eat butter. That's no, no, not, no. We, we need a genuine vote. answer here. Thank you, guys. And shame on you to the 37% that said yes because you're lying. Thank you, guys, for saying no. I don't want to be invaded by army again. We're a neutral co country. Oh, Olivia found where we're Okay, and then the furthermore, here's, here's where everyone was making fun of me. Let me know if it's time stamped too early. <laughs> okay, I will. Let's, <laughs> and then if I scroll down, I bet the top comments about like, Ethan's a fucking idiot. He doesn't know about frogs. Uh, uh, it's all about Jimmy. All Jimmy about Jimmy stole the life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jimmy is kind of the legend. Oh, come on. It was at the top. There was a lot. I saw him, too. Okay, good. But, yeah, I don't see it now. Um, can, maybe someone could just find, because it had like 10,000 Yeah, I, I have the... But, yeah. Uh, so, here it is. Let's get to the bottom of this. You're on your own <laughs> frog apocalypse. Frog, yeah. Wait, so, but for real, what do little frogs eat? What's their diet consist of? Insects and... Yeah, mostly insects. So they're all going to die of starvation? Yeah, He's not no, they, this, is, this is a horrible thing. They're, they're going to all die, like 99% of them. They turn the friggin' the frogs that? gay! Someone's sawing back there? What's going on back there? That's it, what did I do? I... Dan, I that's not what you said on. happened. That timestamp was way too early, Olivia. It's oh, no! <laughs> okay, 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 I'm going back play. up. Okay, oh, all right. No, it's right after this. It, okay. Just let it play okay. a little longer. I, I don't I didn't want I don't want to make it a thing. I I'll play it. it. I'll is, play the clip. Well, I thought the time step was perfect. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah, I loved that. I thought it was great. <laughs> insects. How does a little frog eat an in find insects though? Are you sure it's insects? Can I get an official answer? Okay, there it is. Right. That being said, you saw how little those frogs are? They're like smaller than a like a fourth of a fingernail. Mm -hmm. And it says Little frogs eat larvae. Well, and water crawlers, right? Yeah. Are, are, isn't that a type of insect? And plants and roots. That's what I was wondering. Right. I guess they, yeah, they eat, they eat a... Water and crawler. then they eat the poo poo. Uh, they don't eat the poo poo. They're like these little skimmers <laughs> that skim on the... Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're classified as, a, as an insect. <sighs> Guys, see? Listen, this the show is about learning. It's about growth. Go it's about street. drive, it's about power. It's about <laughs> drive, it's about power. All right, let's watch something funny. This dude told me he was going to go 450 miles like this. I had my doubts, and uh, so I pulled out the camera. I guess this is him just leaving on the trip. I love this. He's just pulling it with a rope, which obviously <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> That's so awesome, dude. A total... <laughs> Failure from the first turn. <laughs> Instant. Yeah, doing a rope is not a good idea. FYI. Yeah, we got this boy. Oh shit, <laughs> dude, that's so funny. Ah shit, love that. Great. Ace family warns. That, uh, we gotta say, Ace Family warns of impending drama, uh, which is pretty awesome. They're doing like, they're prepping yeah, everyone for Ace Fest and the boxing match and their wedding. You know, this is all gonna be like, it's scamming year for Ace Family, mm -hmm. and they're prepping their fans. They're doing almost some like MAGA stuff where they're like, yo, y'all about to hear. 
You're gonna hear a lot of fake news. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna be hearing shit like I tried to steal the election, just confessing his crimes out in the open. Not true. So listen to this. <laughs> oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Okay, so you guys know that we haven't really been like too much on like social media lately. Like we obviously post here and there. We haven't really been filming. We've kind of taken a break. We told you guys that after this year, we're gonna take a break from YouTube. But I have to say, and you heard it here first, right? For all of our OG followers, if you're watching and you're listening to this right now, okay? Be prepared for some just drama, some unwanted, Stop! just weird vibe, weird energy coming towards the Ace family name in the next month or so. What is she predicting? What's happening in the next month? <laughs> Ace Fest. Yeah, right. And the boxing match, right? Those are both. Is that right? They're both so. happening? Yeah. I think so. I mean, How do you put on two events like that? I mean, it's impossible. Uh, Without a massive production you, company. You skimp on... At literally every aspect of it and screw up your fans. So, um, gammed. Yeah, they're getting ready. They're, 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 they're doing damage control before it ever happened. It's awesome. It happens like waves. It you, I was wondering, like do you think they saw us talking about how we got tickets and we're going? And, th and she was like, shit, I better it's say definitely something. Definitely possible. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that too. That was my first thought. Because I think they must have seen how we're like, we're going. We got. Family pack, five tickets. He did post something on his Instagram after we talked about them. He, he didn't like directly reference us, but he said something about haters. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. No, we're just we're just going to attend the event. That's it. We just want to enjoy a great family festival. Yeah. That's all we want to do. I mean, we spent five hundred bucks on that shit, so you better. I just want to be entertained. Do we know who's going to that, by the way? We have we have four or five tickets. Five? Five tickets, tickets. I believe. Who, who's going? A B? Zach's going. We haven't we haven't discussed it. Ian? Cam? Yeah. Ian, you wanna be the uh you wanna chef that that docu that docu series up? Well, I I just kinda wanna go on the rides and stuff. Right, the free rides. <laughs> yeah. And free food too, right? And a meet and greet oh, with true. the with Austin. And I'm kind of hoping to get that wedding invitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lucky, the lucky one. Yeah. And don't you get something about his boxing match? Like you could win something, like uh, tickets to his boxing match. Is that what? No, to the VIP. wedding. It just says that you get to watch his. Yeah. boxing match so i guess you get like a pay-per-view something wow. i have no idea what which is again is. this event is happening in a month and we haven't got anything we have not received any tickets <laughs> we have not received any even a uh, information all we got we was an rece automated receipt uh, receipt from shopify yeah that should be good enough to notice that that 500 dollars was deducted from my bank account <laughs> like that's all we've got they haven't sent us anything it's incredible. Well, that's all you need to show up, right? You say you a have Shopify tickets. receipt. You just say you have tickets, right? Yeah, um, I reached out to their support, and it says that you just show your receipt. <laughs> that's <laughs> Shopify I, receipt. So I bought tickets before they switched to doing it through Eventbrite. So oh, oh, oh. I have. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't gotten anything from Eventbrite. So all we have is a receipt. Literally, that's it. Huh. Didn't didn't you message support, and they said something like, "How do we get our tickets?" That's they, yeah, yeah, they said just show the confirmation email at the door with four IDs or five IDs. Literally just a Shopify receipt. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Ace Fest. That piece sounds of paper. official as hell. You just show up with a piece of paper that says Idiot. you bought a ticket. That's all you need. That's awesome. An ID? What does that matter? You didn't even give them your names, did yeah. you? I mean, I guess the name on the credit card would maybe have to match. Well, that was that would be your name, I think, right, Dan? Uh, right, like, yeah. So I, I guess don't know I'm why going. they need IDs <laughs> of the four people I'm bringing. You should message them and say, "Yo, I bought this card on my grandma's card. She passed away, so she's not going to be attending with us. And so, is that going to be a problem?" Yeah. Well, I'm going to reach back out to them and yeah. just see what's going on. Yeah. The grandma passed away thing should get help you out there. To get a swift uh, response. Thank you for your support on that. 
drove me I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool. Oh, yeah? What'd you see? Her genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. Jesus. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. What is wrong with you, Jordan? She walked over to me. Jordan, with a handful chill. of pubic hair compacted into chill, something resembling bro. a large artist's paintbrush. Chill. She pushed this at my face. God, stop. I dude. raised my arm several times to deflect her hand. Stop. Finally. Stop. Okay, tell me what happened. Now I'm at the edge of my seat. Unwilling to hurt her or interfere with her any further. I let her have her way. Oh my God! She stroked my face with the brush gently no, no, and no, said, no, 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 no. "Like a child." No, 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 no. Keep going, Zach. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole clip. Wait, I'm fat, dude. How did you actually record that and put that out there, bro? That's insane. You said grandma, and he got started. So you know. <sighs> events there's just more shit thrown at us just be prepared that that's coming don't click these drama um channels don't click these news outlets because they're just trying to get you to click so don't do it i feel like our loyal that's like trump being like don't read the news guys <laughs> whatever you do uh, it's so awesome. don't read the newspaper guys for the next month just don't put on the news <clears throat> you know you'll be good don't believe anything anyone says about me family members already know that but it's good that you address that you i mean, I mean? It, like literally like it happens every time yeah. it's a clockwork it's like something it that you, i just it's know. almost like you guys run huh. a scam every time hmm. i wonder why all these stories about you guys uh, yeah, it's such a crazy coincidence pops up every time you know, uh, every you know. time yeah weird oh, it's not even intuition anymore yeah. it's like no this happens every time it's literal forensic evidence we've seen it <laughs> It's real and it's there, and just what? don't buy into forensic evidence. That is not. A you didn't use that, that word sense? right. No. Nope. Don't listen to it. I'm telling you, like it comes in waves. Positive vibes only. Positive vibes only since day one. We've been doing that since day one. You guys know us. Ace family we got Ace Fest July 9th. Why are you so far from me? And we have oh July, July 9th. That's three weeks you. away. <laughs> My fake wife, or maybe wife. I mean. Are they married? Yeah, they're, they're married. They have kids. It's just weird that they're, well, you can have kids without being married. And they're, they're part married. of the Ace Fest is that you get to go to their wedding. No, they are married. They're getting married again for uh, some kind of fucking ticketed event. <laughs> it's, it's nonsense. They're married, right, AB? Yeah, I, I yeah they're married. Check, okay. Let me double check that. But. The, no, it, the whole thing is psychotic. The double wedding, weird. I mean, what the hell? I'm just excited to go to the Lancaster <laughs> Art Festival. I think it's be great. <laughs> yeah, I know. At least you'll have something to do there. Driving all the way out to Lancaster. Um, man, I got a real treat for you guys. So, as you guys know, PNP is America's favorite lawyer. Let's go. Oh, wait, I, this is probably going to take a bit, and we are at uh, 38 minutes. So. Okay, so let me just set this. I'll do. We only have one ad, so I'm going to thank them. But okay. we have some fire new PNP. Lawyers, let's go. But the crazy thing, guys, is that we may have found a lawyer on TikTok that's even crazier. Um, this guy makes P and P look like a saint. A fucking yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yeah, exactly a saint. This man is the next one is a literal demon. The people he gets off. So let me just thank our sponsor, and we have some great content coming up here. Also, we have Amaranth, who's going to call in. She was shared a really crazy story about a stalker who's been stalking her and just got arrested. Some Buffalo Bill shit, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, it sounds real interesting. So uh, she's going to call in to discuss that, and maybe around uh, maybe around 3. Is that okay? okay. Can you see if she's available I'll then? I'll confirm that right now. All right, let me thank our one sponsor, guys. Hold on one sec here. Yes, it's Honey. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love me some Honey. If you're not using Honey, you're straight up missing out on free money. Ela's a shopper. She loves buying stuff online. And we're always shocked. These are genuine screenshots that Ela sends Dan every time. Uh, we get a honey score. Dan is uh, 
trying to work that out at this moment. Sorry, I was I was texting Amaranth's assistant. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Check this go. one out. Look at all these. These are all real Ooh, savings. Whoa, twelve dollars. And the 20. crazy thing is, it's a just a plug-in. You you install it in one click. You don't even have to think about it, dude. And it just automatically searches the internet for the best coupon code, applies it at checkout, and bada bing, you suddenly just save twenty percent that you didn't expect. I mean, it's super easy. It's not intrusive at all. It's literally just a plug-in. It doesn't it doesn't do anything like weird. It's um, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, Honey Button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupon. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the price drop. I mean, it works on clothes, tech, food. You name it, man. They're on like hundreds of thousands of stores. Honey doesn't just work on desktop either. Now it works on the iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari and on your phone and save on the go. That's awesome. So if you don't already have Honey, you are straight up missing out on savings. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. Thank you. I would never recommend uh, this if I didn't love it. And I do love it. I use it. It's on all my browsers. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. Thank you. On the real though, Honey is one of those products where you're like... What is going on here? Because it's like too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so easy to install. You guys use it? I'm not even doing yeah. shtick here. It's like kind of nuts. No, I have it on my browser. I used it yesterday. There you go. I it's insane it how it's like. What? Oh, is that you, Sam? What? Yeah, every time I buy something, I use it. It's Love crazy it. how like literally every time you buy something, you save. It's like, oh shit, it's nuts. Not even doing, not even doing an ad here. Just you don't even have to think it's, about it's it, dude. Crazy. <laughs> um. Want to shout out real quick a fifty dollar donation that said "Don't eat butter." Saw Hassan <laughs> putting down Ethan eating frozen pizza. Buy frozen pizza, eat frozen pizza. That's right. That's Can you imagine what but a stick of butter would do to my digestive system? <laughs> Didn't we eat butter and like Fruit Loops the other like oh, a couple weeks ago? Oh yeah. <laughs> We did. So, I didn't. That was bon remember? Oh, no, oh, yeah. No, you dip. You had a stick of butter and you dipped it. Oh yeah, that, I took a little nibble. Yeah, that, not a stick. stick. That like shit was bomb, was dude. Oh yeah, because the TikToker who ate butter yeah. sticks. Right. <laughs> Yo, oh, thank you to Oreo Resty, who gifted ten uh, Again? members. Thank you, bro. Yeah, He's the same dude he has to be the. Yeah, yeah. He must have like donated over three hundred. You a Saudi members. prince or something? What's going on back there? Freak, dude. Or Saudi royalty in the in the audience. Thank mm. you. Yo, Zach, did you just tweet something? No. You uh -oh. just got called out, bro. Uh oh. Yeah, I see that. Did what you did tweet I... something right now? I tweeted something about an hour and a half ago. Okay, that's before the show started. Yeah. Why? Can you someone fact check that the time on that tweet? Uh, one hour ago. He's right. So how long's the show been going? Less than uh, hour. Okay, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Why? Somebody almost caught you. They're like, yo, Zach's tweeting during the show. What made them assume that? So funny. Uh, they just... What do you guys think about this Barbie? Fucking I stud, dude. I am cool. morbidly curious about this whole thing. It, it's <laughs> the whole... It's bizarre. The cast is, like, fantastic, That's and the right. people behind it are, like, prestige film, like... Oscar winners. Um, so it's got to have some interesting angle to it. I, I yeah, I, I'm very curious to see what. Is it gonna... rated R? That would be epic. Fucking better be, dude. That would be awesome. <laughs> I want to see a Ryan Goss Ken and Barbie sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he is Ken, then his he doesn't have a dick, right? Or how how anatomically correct oh, are we true. getting? Oh, dude, Ryan Gosling, fucking stud, dude. He can be whatever he wants to be. Yeah, so he's playing Ken in the Barbie movie. You know, I'm going to make a prediction. They're playing real dolls in a dollhouse, and it's going to be some, like, existential crisis where they become self-aware. And I don't, they're not going to have, like, they're going to, he's not going to have a dick. There's going to be a scene where he pulls down his pants, he doesn't have a dick. That's a funny gag, right? And, um, and they're going to be trying to escape their dollhouse. I think we're going to see some Gosling dong. I think <laughs> you're, you're straight up state calling it now. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're gonna see some Gosling dong, and I, I you know, she's a stud. How do you not show Gosling dong, dude? 
He's a fucking stud. What Ian agrees. That? I mean, he's I he's know. gone away with it. It's hold on, hold on. Far. What was that? Who's, uh, who's uh, making all that noise over there? Sam's going to check it out. It's Crack Gosling. Skulls. Dude. Yeah, you guys, come on. What was that, dogs? You damn, do something. <laughs> so you're calling it. We're going to see his dick, you think? Yeah, his dong. Yeah. I'm seeing people say it's going to be PG. Yeah, I don't see them putting yeah. uh, full frontal of male course. nudity in a Barbie movie, Zach. <laughs> it needs to happen. Why not? It's Ryan Gosling. Guy fucks, dude. I mean, how many films has he been in? Uh, too many to count. Yeah, and how many? How much dick have we seen? On his uh, not enough. Let's see, thank good answer, Abby. Not enough. Hmm. Um, uh, people are saying it's going to be like Truman Show. That that's what I'm getting at. It's going to have a Truman Show thing. Okay. It, and yeah. Truman Show was probably PG. I don't think that was like a. There was no dong in it. No. <laughs> there was no dong in Truman Show that well, I the remember. Distinct lack of dong in the Truman Show, man. Very no Jim Carrey dong. Truman Show. We sat through two hours. Yeah. What? Truman Show, which, by the way, fantastic movie. PG. PG, there you go. That's it. That was <coughs> They're one. doing a Truman Show. Well, this one's going to be PG, the perfect Gosling dong, dude. <laughs> you might have a problem, Zach. <laughs> the man has an obsession. I mean, he's in one of my all-time favorite movies, so... Which is the notebook? Oh no, Drive. I knew it was going to be Drive. <laughs> he, the, the man barely has to talk, and he's badass. It's like some Steve McQueen shit. Chill, chill, bro. Drive is the most Zach movie that has ever been made. Except maybe like Goodfellas, actually. I take that back. Mm. Goodfellas. No, dri- Drive is Drive is cool. I like that movie. Well, interesting. There you have it. Um, Pray for Gosling, though. Like the director. What is the director's name? What have they made? Oh, that could be a, an interesting... Uh, she made um, that... Uh, Let's o- open her uh, filmography. Uh, oh, Greta Gerwig. Yeah, she made *Marriage she made, Story*. And... She made the oh, very *Little serious. Women*. Okay, interesting. Yeah, like I said, it's like a prestige. Oh wait, she didn't do *Marriage Story*. The the writer did. Oh, the writer, which is her husband or boy, long term boyfriend or o- something. Open like her IMDb, long. Dan. Uh, so she she's the Lady director. Bird. Yeah, so she did *Lady Bird*. Oh wow. Uh, which won a lot of awards. Uh, interesting. Okay, so so. It's got to be a Truman Show. It's got to be. Oh, yeah, and she did the Little Women adaptation a couple years ago as well. That uh, did pretty well. Who plays Barbie? Is that, what's her favorite? Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Okay, yeah. Dude, the whole cast is crazy. Like, it's it's like a fucking AAA list. Click the uh, cat, the crew. I want to see who else is in it. I think Will Ferrell's in it as well. Really? Uh, Lee Will Ferrell is in it. Um, Margot. Yeah, Michael Sarah, Kate McKinnon. Yeah, Will Ferrell, the fuck, Michael Sarah? Yeah. Oh, so it's gonna be a comedy. I, I mean, it is. There are a lot of funny people in it. I think it'll be. I think you're right, though. I think it, it will have like sort of a uh, existential weird tone to it, based off of who's writing it. Because the the co-writer, uh, this guy Noah Baumbach, um, is known for like. Ian and I were talking about it earlier, and as he put it, movies about depressed New Yorkers. Right. <laughs> like, subgenre. Right. Um, but he also, uh, he co-wrote um, a handful of Wes Anderson's movies. Some of oh, the more shit. funny ones, actually. And so, like, I could see it striking kind of like a, a dramedy sort of tone as well. So there you have it. I, it, it sounds interesting. Barbie. Who expected Who would have expected the Who Barbie movie to be so interesting? Yeah. We're all hyped for Barbie, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. When does it come out? Uh, next year. Okay. Uh, I'm predicting there's a scene where Gosling pulls down his pants and he's like, ah! I think there will be a sex Thank scene. You. It'll be like the sex scene in um, uh, Team America World Police where they're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Against each other. Totally. Someone, oh, wait, wait, wait. Someone just donated 10 bucks. It says, uh, Dylan said, I know for a fact. That Ryan Gosling is a horrible person. Oh, don't say that. What Dylan. the fuck? My best friend worked with him on Gray Man. Okay, first of all, don't get your best friend in trouble by sharing that. Uh, well, they're <laughs> not, that was a while. Ago. They're not going to find yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, but second of all, I refuse to believe it. it does seem I like mean, a it's nice probably guy. true, but there was that video of him so breaking weird. up a random fight in New York. Could have been a PR stunt, though. Can he's, imagine that. He's a good guy, Ryan, dude. He hangs dong. He's gonna hang dong. You think he staged the fight? <laughs> it just and occurred to me, but that would be awesome PR. Like, pull up the <laughs> he fight. He pulled an AB. 
<laughs> yeah, just like Amy did. <laughs> yeah, with the mine was real. I got made fun of for it, but yeah, it was. No, similar. you're you're a hero. You're a hero. <laughs> yeah, it was a real fire that you started in that <laughs> car. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, pull up the um, pull up the Ryan Gosling breaks up uh, New York fight. Yo, that would be the best, best PR move ever. Here, I got it. Because it was just a little too opportune. Like, look, watch this. Submitted to TMZ. Okay. I saw it from a different <laughs> angle before. There's Ryan. There's Ryan. In a muscle shirt. He's like, hell no. Yo, that's the best PR stunt ever, though. Let everyone else record it. Fox, dude. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Follow up from Dylan. Uh, she's okay. It's no worries. He verbally assaulted a fellow actor on set, went against stage uh, choreo, choreography, uh, and disrespected her team. Well, that's interesting. It's the T. Ryan Gosling. There's the T. Yo, that would be the best PR though, wouldn't it? Yeah. And it's so easy to do. To like fake a fight and then come yes! up or whatever? Yeah. Yes. Didn't? I, hmm. Forgive no. me if I'm misremembering this story, but didn't Donald Trump do that? Doesn't he have a story where he like supposedly jumped out of his limousine and like stop somebody from being assaulted or whatever, and then it all turned out to be a lie. Oh my God, I haven't heard that, but that's amazing. Let me see, let me, I might be getting the details wrong, but Trump yeah. had something like that. But people are saying, I don't think they, they had other people film it, you know what I mean? Because obviously everyone freaks out. I don't, I don't really think it's a conspiracy theory, but it would be awesome PR move, wouldn't it? Maybe I should break up a fight. No, yeah, we should set that up for you, we I should, think. I wonder if we can make that go viral. Nobody would recognize me. You walk in the street, stop in traffic. Hey, on stop. All that, like 11. There's like a huge muscular dude. I knock him out. Yeah. Walking out from Denny's. <laughs> you know? Because you eat at Denny's. Outside of Denny's? Yeah. Never been there in my life. <coughs> Are you looking something seen, up? We've What's seen happening? the tape. Um, yeah. Okay, in 1991, Trump reportedly stopped a bat wheeling attacker <coughs> in like central park no he way. jumped out of his limo and then new and then i'm seeing new witness blast trump's claim that he stopped the fight witness deflates trump's claim that he stopped the bat beating it was just like a total pr stunt dude that's like some dumb shit from a movie yeah no way hey dan that's not bad huh <laughs> dude trump is so Anyway, let's let's move on to PNP. We love him. All right. So here's PNP's new heat, but then I want you guys to gauge against the new lawyer and tell me who's gnarlier. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Court in Downey with my amazing client here. Now he was charged with a DUI causing injury and a hit and run causing injury, <laughs> and these are a lot more serious than the typical DUI and hit and run charges because they at least carry a one year license suspension requirement if he's convicted. So he wasn't going to be able to drive for an entire year if he was convicted of them. It was alleged that he was at a party and he left the party to go get more alcohol and that on his way back from getting alcohol he crashed into six other cars and ran away and came back to the party the police came to the party afterwards he came out and uh it's alleged that he admitted to have drank before he left the house he's literally just telling us what the fuck he did <laughs> it's like yeah. way too detailed let's go <laughs> It's alleged that he had a crazy night, you guys. He turned the fuck up, allegedly. <laughs> hit six parked cars and people. He hit people and said it caused injury. Then hit and run back to the party. And, conf and then he, the best part goes, he confessed his crime to the police. And he admitted that he was the driver. At the end, we got an amazing result that we're very happy about. 
uh, what happened to the DUI causing injury and the hit and run causing injury charges? They took it away. I was happy as, as amazing, man. Good lawyer we have. <laughs> Fully dismissed, the best. right? Yeah, it was. He is the best. And, and he's just taking a reckless driving, all right? No DUI, not even a normal DUI. Just reckless. reckless driving mm -hmm. and a hit and run. No Wait, injury. just reckless. Wait, so it's, it's not even wet. wet. Does damage. wet imply? No, they didn't even get a DUI. Oh, happy. Go so is it was just <laughs> reckless. Let's it was just go. reckless. Oh, so wet means oh. that you're drunk. Too much wine. No, Sorry. wet does, but he was reckless. He didn't get the wet part. Right, that's ah. what I'm saying. I'm just okay. making a yeah. joke about Kevin or Kev Kev. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys think that's pretty crazy, right? This next one is going to blow your <laughs> ass out. Let's now, go. a little bit of a trigger warning because <laughs> this guy... He, he got off, was facing 99 years in prison for essaying a four-year-old child. Now, that's right, grim, yeah. right? That's, that's horrific. Uh, four-year-old? Yes, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> watch this shit. This man... TikTok? Yeah, here it is. Watch. Dude, and, the, and he's wow. pulling the same thing as PMP. Check it out. All right, D. Who is the best lawyer? Jay Oma. And why am I the best Because lawyer? he made my case go away. And uh, what were you charged with? Uh, I got a very sexual assault under a kid. Uh, of a child, right? Of a child. And how old was the child? Four. And uh, did you do any type of jail time? No, no, I didn't. And uh, are you happy with the results? Yes, yes, I am. And uh, is there anything else you want to add? Oh, he's the best lawyer because he fights for what's right, and he knows every single step that he takes. <laughs> what? Is he Wait, he, he explains he it even more. To be a better lawyer and knows his right step to be like to fight for what's right for your sake, and he not gonna give up like. Like any other lawyer, he fights for what's right. All right okay, dude. so wait, wait, wait. I guess you, if you read the description he wrote, it says, Case gone. Another satisfied client. Client was facing 99 years in prison time for the charge of aggravated essay against a four-year-old child. You see the comments? Right, yeah, the comments are like, he did it. He did it for sure. Wow, yeah, like, it really puts P and P in perspective. P and P is he, doing the Lord's work go. out there compared to this guy. Yeah. People are like, yo, you should have kept this one in the draft. Yeah, for sure. You didn't have to post that, dude. Well, and also he's black like this guy. Let's say he's innocent or guilty, whatever. Dude, you just bl put out a video with the guy's face saying he R-worded a four-year-old child. You know, and the beauty about P and P, if you notice in all of his videos, his clients are wearing masks. So you can't that's true. Them, right, but, yeah. It's, that's interesting. Not all of them. Not all of them. You, or the majority. People are saying, yeah. are, is this real? It is real. And he ha he's actually a prolific content creator. And we have a ton more videos from him. And this guy deals with, like, major criminal shit. This ain't no DUI stuff. This, uh, this other comment is, bro, ain't no way he agreed to post this. <laughs> Definitely still guilty. No way. Should have kept this one in the vault. I mean, what the fuck, dude? That shit is nuts. Uh, here's another one. Three counts of murder? Okay, Jay, who is the best lawyer? Wait, this one's three counts of murder, bro? Okay, Jay, who is the best lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> what? They just keep getting better and better. Hold on, this one says... Client paid zero dollars to get out of jail. Charges three counts of murder? And six counts of smuggling of persons? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Let's go. What? Let's go. <laughs> oh okay, TikTok, no. fuck you to hell. All what right. the fuck? All right, so let's see this. I haven't seen some of these. Here we go. How do you get off on murder and smuggling people? Okay, Jay, who is the best lawyer? You. And, and why am I the best lawyer? By the way, the, his vibe is so much worse than PMP. It's like a shakedown. He's like, who's the best lawyer? Why am I the best lawyer? Right, yeah. At least PMP is respectful. He's like, my great client here. This is like a call me daddy situation. He's also like, not trying to get too close. You can, he's like. <laughs> Dude. They could, they could get him at any second. Right, right, right. He doesn't trust let's them. Let's not go. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's on. Let's know. Let's Somebody stay. Go. Let's, stop. let's, let's stop. know. <laughs> <laughs> Give All right. Some space. Anyway, let's see. This guy got three counts of murder, six Why counts. Why people of... keep saying fake? No, 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 I'm no, no. I'm looking at the guy's. He's like he's By the literally way. in prison, talking to his clients through like 
It, this is not fake. I, this check, predates check Google reviews. I called his office. You did? Yeah. Oh wow. No, he's real. Look at he's done this a lot. And this guy predates PNP, or at least he was doing it before we ever mentioned PNP. This is from last year, 2021. This is the real shit, you guys. <laughs> Fuck off, TikTok. You fucking dumbass app. Thank you. All right, ready? Okay, Jay, who's the best lawyer? You. And, and why am I the best lawyer? Because you took me out from jail. And uh, what are your criminal charges? Three, three deaths and three illegal aliens. So three separate murder? Tres cargos separados. Tres cargos separados. Okay. And um, did you have to pay for anything to get out of jail? Tenías que pagar algo? No. Va a salir? No. No? Okay. Uh, would you recommend me to your friends and family? ¿Me recomendarías con tus amigos y familia? Sí. Yes. Con todos mis familia y mis amigos. Okay. Are you happy that you're free and able to celebrate the holiday of shit. with your family? Estás uh, contento porque saliste y sí, disfrutar el, los días festejos con tu familia? Sí. Estoy sí. bien feliz estar con mi madre. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to say to the camera? I did it. <laughs> you can say it now. Okay. Um, Mom, is there anything else you want to add? Yes. She is the best lawyer. Okay. He is. You can trust him. I cannot ever. She's the best lawyer. Okay. Guarantee. Yo, if you can get him off three best. murders and six kidnappings, okay. and, uh, he is the best Spanish lawyer. Speaking audience out there, uh, would you like to say something to them in Espanol? Dude, he really milks it too, damn. And they're under a gazebo. How crazy is that? What the fuck? It's a good lawyer, dude. Holy six mur- Three murders! And six kidnappings! Oh, you, you joining me? It must be either... Gazebo? Yeah, they're under a gazebo. This gazebo. It must be like gang-related or like uh, cartel-related or something, but... That's what I'm assuming with three murders, six kidnappings. Where does that even happen? But either way, fucking incredible, man. P and P wouldn't even touch that shit. This next one, client was charged with trying to kill multiple people on different occasions while out on a felony bond. That's fucking wild, dude. Uh, 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 dude. All right, hey. Oh my god, this one's amazing, you guys. He's doing it through the fucking... He's doing it through the visitor's glass. You guys still think it's fake? <laughs> yeah, that's I think true. it was wishful thinking from... Uh... Bro, he's literally doing it through the glass. This is too much for me. All right, let's see what's happening here. All right, A, why am I the best lawyer? Man, because you do the unbelievable. You do God's work. You, 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 man, I don't know anybody that's messing with you. You push the hardest. You're consistent. You're always pushing. You're pushing. You're pushing. You don't, you don't, man, you don't cut nobody no slack. You don't, you, you, <laughs> man, right. I don't even, I'm lost of words so, right now. I don't even know what to say. So how many charges do you have? I have five charges. And were they involving uh, a deadly weapon? All deadly weapons, all aggravated. I've been to prison before for aggravated charges. And this is just unbelievable right here. It's, man, I don't even know. There's no words to explain how, how, man, you're the best. So what was the bail that I got you on? You got, you got, you got all four, you got all my other bonds reinstated. And then, then you got me 150,000, but that's, that might sound like a lot to y'all, but that's impossible coming from where I've been and what I've been through and the cases that I got. All right. There ain't no way. Right. This is the man right here. Sounds good. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a billionaire lawyer right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see him on the news later. Sounds good. Um, so I'll see you when you get out. Yes, sir. Most definitely. All right. Do you have anything else you want to say to the people out there? Man, just stay out of trouble. And if you get in trouble, you need to hire Jay Omer. He's going to get you through it. <laughs> you know, it's right. interesting that none of the people are like, I just want to say I'm innocent. No. They're all like, yo, this motherfucker got me out. Dude. Another satisfied client. Client was charged with trying to kill multiple people on multiple different occasions. Let's get this man out of jail pronto. <laughs> Let's he, go. You keep
You keep cutting off right before the end. Does he have a, a catchphrase? No. No catchphrase? All right, sounds good. Well, now right, the, his opening is like, who's the best lawyer in the world? Right. Actually, that's a pattern with it. He has a flyer that says in quotations, I will fight to get you off. That's his catchphrase. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. I like the double meaning of it. Do you want to think about it a little longer? This guy's not a showman like uh, PNP, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the charges are unprecedented. This next one, um, what is this? Oh, that was just a catchphrase right there. And that's his law degree that he posted on. I will get you off. I will get you off. <laughs> and then, and then this one says, "This is his law license." You got? Should I show this? He put it on. It's on his Instagram. It's on his Instagram. Here you go, guys. Um, he is a real attorney. Okay, well, I mean, some of these people might be innocent. Yep. It makes it a little bit easier to stomach if you just assume that they were, like, wrongfully charged or something. Sure, that guy was accused of uh, <laughs> trying to kill many people on many different occasions. I'm sure they could have got that wrong, like, seven <laughs> times. Maybe they got the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, it's not like he's in jail for a previous felony or anything. It's a total stretch. This one is driving while intoxicated and resisting a wretch. I mean, who cares? That's like peanuts. And that's P that's P and P level. Yeah, that's let's right, let's so take a look. Who's the best lawyer? My man Jay, Jay Yoma right here, man. And why am I the best lawyer? He got two of my cases dismissed. All right, and what cases were they? Man, they hit me with a DWI and a, um, and a resisting arrest. And how many years of jail time are you looking at? They was trying to throw two years at your boy, man. Two and years? Would you recommend it to your friends and family? Wait, what the fuck? They were going to give him two years for DUI? Um, and resisting might, arrest? Might be multiple times. Mm. Also, But also, I mean, it is Texas, which is, I mean, they're pretty... Uh... Well, he's doing the Lord's work in this case. Be hardcore about it. Absolutely. Uh, got both of them dismissed. All right. I'll let you boy. <laughs> and uh, is there anything else you want to add? Man, this dude right here, he'll go to war with you. That's true. Whether he's playing football or kicking butt <laughs> over here in the courtrooms. This boy, he's he does the dang thing. He's he's a true soldier for you, man. Trust me. You're your family attorney now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Texas, second time DUI, maximum jail sentence of 12 months. So... Had well, it said he was good. resisting as well. Oh, that'll... There you go. A uh, client was facing 12 years prison time for forgery, fraud, and possession of marijuana. Four pounds of marijuana. <laughs> All right, W. Let's go. Um, so you Sounds like a good time. probably wondering why I got you on video, mm -hmm. right? So I just wanted to inform you that I got all three of your cases dismissed. Mr. J. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you, you really breaking the news it? to her on? This man has no shame. Dude. Bro, you, that, this has got to be some kind of violation of privacy. <laughs> this is, this is, I think this must be some reportable offense to the bar. Well, I mean, it, sure. He, I'm sure he does get their permission. No, but you, beforehand. but like to film this. Which, to be fair, PMP doesn't, he said. I know, but he just busts out the phone. I know, but she's breaking the news to her. <laughs> I know that's fucking wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta watch this again. All right, W. Um, so you're probably wondering why I got you on video, mm -hmm. right? So I just wanted to inform you that I got all three of your cases dismissed. Mr. J. <laughs> that's. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's a big word. Let's call him. Away! You had me nervous. I was so scared when I came here. Okay, I mean this one. So what were you like, charged with? It's happy. It's sweet. Forgery, fraud. I was with forgery. Weed charges. Fraud let her prison. out. Yeah, let, let her, her out. Let out. her live yeah, her okay. life. So Nonviolent crime. Yeah, this, I mean, how much prison time are you looking at? The fact that he's live revealing yeah, yeah. the case <laughs> just thoughts is insane. <laughs> that is a violent All, crime. Also, right. he goes. He made her come to his office. Yeah. <laughs> so he could make a TikTok with her. <laughs> you could have called her dumbass. She was all stressed out. Holy shit. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm team PNP forever. I don't like this guy. Yeah. Is he a public defender? Because he always says that he did it for free and stuff. So is he... I never oh. heard him say that. Wait, you didn't? No, he's not a public defender. He's from... 
He says, says he, has he has his own law own, firm. If he has his own firm, then no, I don't. Maybe he does some pro bono cases. No, he's yeah, because he definitely said in the earlier ones. Yeah, that I did catch that too, love. You're right. That they got out but for free. Just, maybe he just. No, he was talking about their bond. He got rid of their their bond. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, this guy doesn't work for free. You crazy? It says he's a t criminal <laughs> defense attorney and car accident attorney. He would be great for when we do a um um. Next content core, we could get PMP to be on the. Uh, he, he this guy could be the uh, defense attorney forever. Have about. both of them? Yeah, like litigating they're, against yeah, each uh, other. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're both defense attorneys, but I, I guess it's not that serious, right? Maybe it'd be dope if be one sued the other. Theory. I'd like to see that play out. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be good. laughs> oh, I got your case dismissed in two weeks. Yes. Are you happy? Yes. My DUI happy lawyer was a public yes, defender and had his own office. Right. Yeah, uh, I, maybe actually. No, but I, or maybe they maybe they sometimes take public cases. Um, Wait, he has his own law firm. Exactly. If you're a public defender, you work for the municipal. Yeah, but I it, yeah, see another person. Public defenders can also do private work, so it, it's possible that he sometimes takes on some public okay. cases. Okay. Shout out. Let's go. The states make private lawyers take on public uh, defense cases. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. If he's actually doing work as a public defender, that's incredible. Most public defenders are like, bye, see you in jail, idiot. <laughs> not not working. Not all. Yeah, not Some all. We're good. Um, well, there you go. We have, we're in stiff competition here. I'm team, I'm oh, well, team well. PMP forever. Mm -hmm. yep. This guy is a degenerate, but okay. What would you guys think of that one? That was awesome. Sick. Three counts of murder. That really blew my ass off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. There you have it, huh? Again, for my own sanity and uh, not hating humanity, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna pretend like all those people are innocent and he's yeah. a good thing getting them all off. There you go. Yeah, totally. That guy definitely went separately to twelve people's houses, attempted to murder them all. Maybe they got the wrong guy. Possible. Happens all the time. Wrongful. They arrest the wrong person. There was like a hundred eyewitnesses that uh, <laughs> identified him. All right, moving on. Somebody, Shout out. Real quick, since we're in between stories, Dan, when will the Teddy Fresh beanies that you're wearing be restocked? Been waiting forever, fam. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is a really old one. I, I got we are restocking like the plastic ago, ones. So. I, they'll be here, I don't know when, but I know they're coming. Um, so, stay tuned, I guess. By the way, speaking of Teddy Fresh, this dope-ass shirt is on teddyfresh.com. Teddyfresh.com, dope-ass stuff. Mm. Mm. My man, look at this. My man, misdemeanor, felony, federal crimes. Bail reduction. I think that's what he was talking about. He just said, I, you didn't have to pay to get out of jail. No bail. Right. Sure. Uh, drunk DUIs, drug charges, theft, assault, sex crimes. <laughs> this picture. Yeah, I was, I was look, going from sex crimes to his face, back to sex crimes, then back to his face. Yeah, these are all things that he's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that's and why more. I and know more. intimately. <laughs> and more. This is his rap sheet. And, and his, <laughs> this is I cropped this to leave, yeah. his, uh, to leave his number out of it. But either way, same, same effect. God, lawyers are an interesting breed, man. That's an interesting breed of folks. Yeah. I'll tell you. Hey, man. They'll get you off. <laughs> and he'll get you off on top of everything. Hmm. And he'll jerk you off the other the table. Yo, what the fuck? There's like a massive section about this guy, Ezra Miller. Who, yeah. He played like. Uh, the Flash. The Flash? Yeah. And did anyone watch him portray The Flash? You did. did. It was in the Zack Snyder. Yeah, he was in the he Justice was, League. Oh. That Flash, yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. He was also in Perks of Being a Wallflower. That's what I know him from. Mm -hmm. And and oh, I see. What happened to him? He really lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, you're about to see. So I guess he was doing pretty well uh, uh, creatively. 
as an actor. Very successful. He was like a critical darling for mm -hmm. a long time, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, here. Oh, Ezra uses they, them pronouns. Oh, okay. We did not know that. I didn't know that. Okay, well, they, uh, they are, they were a very successful actor. And then, I'm sorry, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it together, this whole, because this is a very long section. So apologies in advance if I call him, if I call they him. Thank you. Um, let's see. Ezra Miller is being accused of grooming a now 18-year-old from the age of 12 as the parents seek court intervention. Uh-oh. That's a new... He, yeah. They call him the Flash because he gets to them quick before they turn get uh -oh. old enough. Mm. I'm just saying, they call him, they call me the Flash. Hey, do you guys want pizza from next door? I'm going to tell Lena. Lena, can you bring over the, all the leftover pizzas? <laughs> uh, I'll, I don't know. If Lena, oh, yeah. Let's go. Can you bring over the pizza for us, if everyone's done with it over there? Yeah, awesome. He Let's has go. no pizza experience. Come on, you guys, thank me. Thank me. Thank, thank, thank you. Pizza. Nobody you. wants it from me. You. Nobody thank wants you. it but me, right? <laughs> Thank you. I, I said grab it all because I, I was going to say, can you grab me some slices? This <laughs> sounds less pathetic. Mm. It's for everyone. It's for everyone. Yeah. I'd crush, a, I'd crush some pizza right now, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you want some? I mean, every time you guys talk about food, it's like 1 a.m. here, and uh, I never, can never uh, get some for myself. It sucks. Uh, there's, no late, there's no late. Uh, nah, my city dining. sucks like that. It's like McDonald's or Burger King <laughs> this time. I see. So Ezra Miller flashes his way into those panties. He's the Flash. Why do you think they call him that? According to court documents, attorney and activist Chase Iron Eyes. What the fuck? His name is Iron Eyes? What is this, a Marvel? Chase Iron Eyes. It's a Marvel film? <laughs> Why is everyone got to be... <laughs> Yeah, I had to double check that. Wait, who is Chase Iron Eyes? I gotta see what he looks like. Is he wearing like a. Oh my god. Wait. Is he Native American? Oh, he's Native American. Yeah. Okay. That explains. Sorry. That's actually legit. Sorry, everybody. I mean, it's a badass name. No, it's yeah. sick. Chase Iron Eyes. And his wife, Sarah Jumping Eagle. Shout out those. I'll tell you what, Native Americans. They fucking know how to name a motherfucker. Yeah. A lot cooler than Dan. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. I'm Ethan. Oh, I'm I'd be Ethan. E Wait. Oh, I'm Ethan. <laughs> Everyone loved this, by the way. Normal. I'd be Ethan. I'd be Ethan. Ethan the Iron Iron Dong, Iron Dong. Uh, that's reserved for Ryan Gosling. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's reserved for who? A Ryan Gosling. Okay. Iron Ethan Iron uh, Anus. That's not bad. It's pretty good actually. Yeah. Iron Anus. I don't know if that's accurate though. Well, it, 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 um, what, what I mean to say is it endures a lot. It does endure a lot. So sure. it's, yeah. Callous anus? The anus itself is iron. I, I would agree. Yeah, because <laughs> you could have a, a weak stomach, but the anus takes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's my point. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just call, I'll just refer to them as Ezra from now on. The iron hairline. Oh, mm. there you go. That's, that's it. That's it. Thank you, guys. I'll, I'm going thank, by Ethan thank you, Iron Chad. Hairline. Never threw now. that out there. So anyway, uh, Chase Iron Eyes and Sarah Jumping Eagle claim that Miller, now 29, has been manipulating and controlling their daughter, Dakota Iron Eyes, as the two met back in 2016. They say Miller took Miller took an immediate and apparently innocent liking to Dakota at the time. 
The parents allege Miller gave Dakota alcohol and drugs like marijuana and LSD as a teen and exhibited a pattern of corrupting a minor. Jason Sarah said in the document that Miller offered to pay for Dakota to attend college early at 16. Miller would later use that against them to create a sense of indebtedness. Dakota dropped out of school. Their parents say to travel to Miller's home in Vermont, uh, they traveled to Miller's home in Vermont, finding that Dakota didn't have their driver's license, bank cards, or keys, preventing Dakota from leaving on her own accord. Yeah, so basically, they assumed she was being held there. She had no option of leaving. Did they go there? Their parents say that... Chase and Sarah say they are concerned for their daughter's safety and well-being and that Miller displays cult-like and psychological manipulation. Uh, they allege that Miller uses violence, intimidation, threats of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway of young adolescents. Well, unfortunately, it seems pretty believable because as the videos that we have... Dude, so many crazy... Play, uh... <laughs> This is only the tip of the iceberg here. Mm -hmm. The Ezra Berg. Yeah. yeah. Dakota issued a statement on Monday. Um, so this is in response to her parents trying to get her back. Yeah. So she said, um, I'd like to make a statement to acknowledge the tragedy that is the narrative of the general public and the assumptions made on my behalf by family and friends regarding my stability and otherwise. I dropped out of Bard 5... Bard? It's a school in New York. Oh. Bard, five months ago, my friend and comrade William passed shortly thereafter. My mind was incredibly impacted, and I've needed space and time to process the grief. My comrade, Ezra? Dude, what is going on over there? They call each other comrades? She's referred to two people as comrades now. It's a badass way to refer to people. You all are my comrades. Yeah, I got okay, you. I'll remind you, Dan, that communism is illegal in this country. Yeah, I take it back. You're not my comrade. All of you guys are my comrades. Just Vladimir saying. Putin. You're my fucking Vladimir oh. Putin. Well, yeah, if you like communism so much, go to Russia. Uh, Russia is not uh, a communist country. Oh, really? And hasn't been for pretty much our entire lives. Uh, China, then. Okay, fair China enough. China work for you? I mean, that, that's at least more accurate to say. My comrade Ezra Miller for the entirety of the aforementioned era has only provided loving support and invaluable protection. There you have it. But that's what like um that's what R. Kelly's peeps was saying before that whole thing got busted apart. You know, R. Kelly had those girls in his in his dungeon and they were making kind of this the same kind of statements. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this yeah, a video? very much R. Kelly vibes with the yeah, uh, yeah, totally situation. Oh, it did. Is there any for them? Oh, thank you so much. Wait, you guys want some? I don't need three. You guys want some pizza? <laughs> uh, I ate right before we started. I'm okay. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, you though. She, she's the good. best. Yeah, she's all right. So here's the video of it. Wait, do you guys you want pizza? No Does way anyone else Ezra... want pizza? Huh? Does anyone else want some? Oh my gosh, he heated it up. Damn. Let's go. We're in the chew zone, people. Let's go. What were you saying, Jim? What was I saying? Oh, somebody just in the chat uh, saying that uh, there's zero chance that Ezra didn't write that statement. Right. Oh, you think he wrote it? Well, here's yeah, a video her, of her. Her parents think the same thing. Here's a video of her six days later. Let's see what's in this. Hi, guys. I've oh, already looking off camera. Oh, no. Right? I mean... Uh-oh. All right. Hi, guys. Hi, folks. Um... I've become aware that some people are saying that my statements were not written by me. I'd like to clarify that they are, in fact, directly i'm buying it me. very believable nobody <laughs> is controlling my instagram account i don't have a phone Jeez. right now out of my own personal conviction oh hell no he took her phone this is so r kelly 
Holy crap. Uh, so this seems very uh, authentic. She Is she blinking Morse code? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is gnarly. This is gnarly as fuck. What the fuck? Um, and honestly, it's really distressing that the narrative of why is she talking the so slow victim in question is not being granted and trust i worked really hard to make really clear what was going on and if the statements are too profoundly contrasting to class. whatever assumptions. <laughs> I've never seen anyone talk that slow in my life. Something is up. I mean, I don't know her, so maybe. This woman needs help. Yeah, I mean, that that's my impression as well, uh, but. Life was like a box maybe of chocolates. Just Why did you play that? Yeah. Like that on, on... Forrest Gump talks slow, I don't know. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's scary. Let's finish it. It's almost done. Yeah, it is scary. Wait till you learn more about him, you know? Those of us have garnered and have chosen to carry. I'd like to say that it's nobody's business and that no one is owed a story. Except the police. Or an outcome. This is my life. These are my decisions. It's my life. And I'm disappointed in my parents and the press. <laughs> the press. I mean, let's be honest. Her parents would be, you'd have to be a lunatic not to worry when your 16 year old child runs off with some random person and d loses their phone. So. Man, this is this is pretty wild. Yep. Not good. So that's what's going on with that, but there's so much more. Um Yeah. So let's see. Here's footage of Ezra yelling at police. Apparently he uh they're just getting in trouble all over the place. Like every week. Yeah, this video is hard. <laughs> it was hard to describe, but there's a lot going on here. Why does it say for NFT crypto? Yeah. Well, you'll see. You'll see. That's why. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I'm into it. No, 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 no. I got assaulted and I started filming. Okay. Let's, show talk, you the video. let's talk stories outside. Let's talk stories outside. Ezra Miller has a police on the warrants, but he's caution code that's Mabel 29, Caucasian Hill. What's going on? I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name? What's your badge number? Tell me your name and your badge number. What key? Well, he is not saying, but again, I would not be well. so, your, your daughter's with this guy? Or I mean, this person? Sorry. Wow. Ezra. Full name, full badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. Please touch me. Tell me your name and your badge number. Now. Tell me, tell me your name and your badge number. Now. You. Get off the road. I wasn't doing anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. People seem confused about the girl that Ezra kidnaps age. She's 18. She just turned 18, but she's been with him for years. Yeah, yeah they met when she was 12. Yeah, I think and just 12? Yeah, 12 yeah. years old they met, and he paid for her college, supposedly, when he she was 16. And well, that was, he, like, the first big thing that made her feel... That, that is super alone. weird. Did he actually end up doing it? I thought that he just... Offered. You just called him he. I, oh, I'm so sorry. Can't I, I had written this previously and had written that. I got you slipping, Olivia. I'm sorry. I'm actually very, very sorry. <laughs> you just got X by Ian. I'm over. <laughs> You're good. You want some pizza? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. All right, let's, let's just keep watching. 
Ezra, come over here. Tell us what happened. Was that the interesting part? Or is it more? That was pretty much. Well, no, it, it keeps going. Hey, if you want to go to like. What is your name? Yeah, what is your name? I tell you oh, yeah, I can see what people watch right here. Is he, is he chasing him? Yep. Yeah, he's the Flash. You're never going to catch... <laughs> you're never going to catch Ezra. He's the fastest person alive. They're the pa fastest person alive. Central 420. Whoa, what the... What? What's with those people just saying there? That was like a spook Central scare. Central 131. I mean, just... I mean, arrest... It was like Slender Man. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. I was just saying. So anyway, did we ever get more information about the NFT collection he's apparently working on? They're working on? Sorry. Let me see. Wait, he's still in. Uh, Ezra's still in the new Flash? So, yeah, this, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with that because this movie's coming out and it's like a big deal. Supposedly, it's supposed to be like a multiverse type thing. And there's even rumors of like, um, what's his name? Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. No, no way. way. Yeah. That's I don't know if that's dope. True, but it's, it's rumored. So everyone watch this part. So let's just see what happens here. It's like to say this one. You change the future, and you change the past. Batman. Epic. Sick. So... That's them saying, Let's go. hey, we know nobody cares about this character at all, but guess what? Batman shows up. Right. And now you gotta see it. Right. Take that, Marvel. Um, a separate incident. By the time I'm on the bike, guys. <laughs> Stand by. Put him in the chew zone. Send him to the fucking chew zone, Ian. I'm done. I'm out of the choose zone. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Hold on. Oh, here we go. You want me to take another bite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody in the chat just said, I love the Flash, Dan. There you go, the one Flash fan. No, it's very popular. Just it's CW, right? So, oh no, he, yeah. his isn't the CW. Yeah, that's a different version of uh, The Flash. So a separate <laughs> incident took place in Hawaii. The Hawaii Police Department issued a statement after arrest happened, stating that Miller began yelling obscenities at people who were singing karaoke. No, I'm sorry, this is the same, this is the same incident. Oh, this is the this same is incident? The description, yeah. So was he singing karaoke or were other people? Um, supposedly he... Allegedly spit on a woman. Oh my uh, goodness. I wasn't clear if he was the one that was... Oh, he lunged at a person playing darts. He got out on a $500 bear. Clearly he had, he had one of these yeah. guys representing him. Less than a month later, Miller was arrested in Hawaii again. This time during a traffic stop after he... They... Allegedly threw a chair at a woman... During a gathering. Throwing a chair is pretty gnarly. Uh, a few months ago, Ezra put out a video threatening the South Carolina KKK. That's based. Hi. Um. This is a based moment. Based as fuck. Wait, he's taking on the KKK? Let's go. This is Ezra Miller, uh, a.k.a. the Bengal Ghouls, the Mad Goose Wizard. And um, this is a message for the Beulahville chapter of the North Carolina Ku Klux Klan. Hello, first of all, how are y'all doing? Um, it's me, 
Um, is it is it safe to say they're not watching this video? It may have gone around. I mean, it has two point five thousand likes. Not that much views. That's like twenty thousand views. Um, this video was pretty viral. This is just okay. Yeah. We upload, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Look, if y'all want to die, yes. I suggest just killing yourselves with your own guns. Okay? Um, otherwise, keep doing exactly what you're doing right now, and you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, um, we'll do it for you if that's really what you want. Okay. Oh. Talk to you soon, okay? Bye. Oh, my God. Hi. They got, he put them on, on warning. The whole KKK chapter, they put them on warning. Well, that's based. I mean, fuck the KKK, right? Yeah. He said he was going to kill them, though. That's a bit, that was a lot. He said it's on site. <laughs> he said, if you don't kill yourself, I'll, I will. Yeah. Then, he, then he went around, driving around South Carolina, looking for the Klan. That's interesting. How do you just... Uh, oh. Disappeared. Um, okay. The White Knight's talking backwards, but what's the R.E.D. Queen up to again? It's like a psycho-spiritual sci-fi revenge movie. It's an indie. I mean, he seems to be... A manic, right? I mean, this is like delusions of grandeur and mania. Two years ago, Ezra choked a female fan in a convenience store who came up to him pretending to play fight. That's not funny, but of course, it's just so crazy. So she was hoping to have like a wholesome fan interaction. And he just like choked her out. Yep. On camera. Mm hmm. At like Petco or wherever the fuck they are. Yep. Let's go. Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Want to fight? Want to learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that the fuck? The I think they think they are actually Whoa, the flesh. Bro, 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 bro. That was slow, man. That was a slow. That was slow, grab. but I mean, like, he, I think he thinks he's being like chased or something, or it's his job to bring down the KKK. There's something wrong with that man. Let's be real. Learn it. I mean that person. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm not doing it on, on. Yeah. I'm trying. Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? I mean, she's still smiling, so he couldn't be squeezing that hard. No, that's kind of like a shock. I think. I think she's just doing that to deal with it. It kind of feels like it. It was a joke at first, but he decided halfway through okay. that he wanted to like go for it. I mean, that. Yeah. From the fans' perspective. If I went up to meet Ethan when I was just a fan, and then he started choking me, I don't know how I would respond either. I would probably... You'd think they were yeah. kidding. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, this is... He's you, so funny. It probably takes a few minutes to realize you're being choked. Yeah. Or a few seconds, right? <laughs> right. I think... She's like, cool. We're going to have a play fight. Whoa, awesome. bro, bro, bro. 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 This was two years ago, too, eh? Yeah, it was a while ago. Uh, yeah, two years ago. Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, he was. He was. He was trying to hurt her. What a maniac! There's more. Warner Brothers has a, a PR nightmare with more and more members of the Justice League. Is that right? So yeah. Ezra is a potential groomer. Amber Heard, obviously most hated woman in America right now. The cyborg guy, Ray Fisher, repeatedly called out Warner Brothers and heads of the DC film, such as Josh, Josh Whedon, for unacceptable onset behavior and racist practices. Ben Affleck. Um, he's just sad. Is that, is that a, I don't know how much, is that a PR nightmare? Just sad, pathetic Ben Affleck. I mean, this video happened. Yeah. Thinking about so many. Thinking about the time I matched with Ben Affleck on Raya, 
and thought it was fake. So I unmatched him and he sent me this video on Instagram. This is one of my favorite things, even so. She did him so dirty, though, man. Naveen, why did you unmatch me? It's me. It's me. It's me. Have you not seen that, Olivia? <laughs> no, I have. I just forgot about how nauseous it makes me. It's me. It's me. Why, Why did, did you, you unmatch me? me? <laughs> it's me. We said that. That lined up, dude. It's yeah, you can't have the guy playing Batman looking that pathetic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gal Gadot? What happened to her? Oh, no. <laughs> The Day Justice League is six disbanded. In uh, self quarantine. And I gotta say that um, these past few days uh, got me feeling a bit philosophical. Um, Stop right you know, there. This virus had affected me. If you're it. feeling too, soft, too philosophical next time, gal, hit yourself in the head or something. <laughs> <laughs> Get a concussion. <laughs> Forget what you're doing and go back to doing whatever else you were doing. Oh, Entire Lord. At least, uh, world, what's his everyone. name? Cavill. I think he he's cool, right? Everybody him everybody still loves him? Him and Jason Momoa are the only two. Who, oh, Jason Momoa is cool. Who's the other guy? Aquaman and Superman. Uh, uh, the guy who played Superman. Oh, Superman's a legend. That right, guy. yeah. Henry Cal Cal Cavill, yeah. Yeah, or those two guys. Are so let's just have them. You know? Yeah. That's, it could be a body film. Right. Aquaman and Superman. Well, and the, uh, the, Ray Fisher, at last. the Ray Fisher guy didn't do anything bad, necessarily. You're right, you're right. It was just, he caused a lot of PR nightmare for Warner Brothers, but... Right. So we, he can he can show the up. The three there. of them. Yeah, Aquaman, Cyborg, and Superman. That's a, that's an all-star yeah. cast. <laughs> Maybe they can do like a hangover spinoff. With I'm interested in that. Well, there's some, it's I mean, mean, Superman is a... A top tier hero, Cyborg and Aquaman. Yeah. Why did you unmatch me? <laughs> this is what Ben Affleck says to Warner Bros. Go ahead, Zach. It's me. <laughs> Why did you unmatch me? I'm so. Oh awful. Lord. She did him so dirty though. <laughs> did him so dirty with that. All right, so let's have Amaranth call in. Is she on standby? Uh, uh yeah. Or why? Why don't you? Uh, Where's that video you guys? I got to set up. And uh, we'll go from there. So it's here, me. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Yeah, so Amaranth had this crazy stalker. I'll read you those tweets, and she's going to call in, and we're going to talk about what happened. But this just happened this morning. She said, I have a stalker who's been in my area since May 8th. He literally watches my stream all day and badly mimics everything I do, including ASMR, he takes showers when I'm in the hot tub. In the past, I've reported him for restreaming me, but because he had been traveled all the way from Estonia to my city, living in a nearby hotel, I want his stream to remain up so I can keep a close tab on him. I have a security system, a few pew pew devices, and lately I have had an armed employee living in the guest quarters. Part of the reason I'm taking this so seriously is because he has professed that he has sold all of his worldly possessions, his residence and everything he owns to make the trip. And he's racking up a mighty bill on his charge card. This setup doesn't give him any outs. Here, this is, I guess, one of his live streams. Mm -hmm. Outdoors in Texas, Houston, Alec plus Kate. Oh, that's, that's scary. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's that's even scarier than Ben Affleck. <laughs> it's scary for anyone, but especially someone like Amaranth, where like so much of her livelihood relies on live content, you know. So people always know what she's up to. It's uh, where she is, what she's yeah. up to. Um, she continues. He's depleted his resources and doesn't have any options here, and I fear for my life and that he might do something drastic. The police are aware of the situation; they know what hotel he's in. And they have a regular patrol, but they can't do anything despite his intent to come find me. He has literally made it his Twitch title on his stream. Find Caitlin and make her mine. Please don't report his account. His streams are valuable intel for my well-being, peace of mind. They knew what hotel he was in. Apparently, he moved last night. Different hotel nearby. Some people need... 
Exterminatus. Exterminatus. <laughs> yeah. I see. So is this messages from him? Mm hmm. Only because you think anyone beneath Oh no, he got he went nice guy on her. Shit. Only because you think anyone beneath you wants something from you. But at the same time you only want their money and attention. So who's really the one using people instead of trying to make connections? You sit there and complain you can't go outside because you fear someone is gonna recognize you when nobody knows you, you bitch. You have more people from overseas who know you than you do in America. I'm not going to read this psycho babble. It's disturbing. Your content, okay, yeah. But you, you guys can use your magic. It's really horrific, like nasty shit. Uh, and then, well, where's the update? Because this doesn't have the update. Something happened this morning. Oh, I, this is kind of not safe for. Oh, just maybe you can send me the link. Right, this doesn't have the, let me see. She said, here's the new thread, I guess. It's from five hours ago. Mm -hmm. My stalker traveled from Estonia and Europe and came to my city camping out in a hotel within line of sight of my PO box and spent over a month camping out daily at a Starbucks next to my PO box, 44 days. He psychotically streamed every day. Uh, every minute of his excursion, internet signal permitted, everything in real time on Twitch, typically to zero viewers, but growing as he gained notoriety. His account would get taken down, but he would make another one, maybe using the alias N plus one, ticking up the numerical suffix in his screen name. By his own admission, he went scorched earth and sold everything and left his life in Europe to come here on a hopeless and self-destructive pilgrimage. He hawked all of his possessions, his house, and posted private details like a manifesto. The only thing he brought with him, other than his phone and clothing, was a saxophone and a change of clothing, formal attire. The saxophone would appear in a few live streams of himself playing in public across from the P.O. box. Serenading no one in particular allowed him to carry around occasional saxophone case, though, which made me very nervous. Was it plausible deniability to carry that case around when a time came to switch it out with a more lethal instrument? Uh, stop scrolling. What's down there? Okay, you take, you'll see. But leave it off the screen for a second, Ian. Oh shit, this what the fuck Bill is this? Moment. Wait, so he said, um, I tried to be clear while he was in my Twitch chat. I clearly state, I don't want him to come. I don't want to meet him. He'd say, liar, liar, fiance. He made dancing videos reminiscent of Buffalo Bill dance scene and Silence of the Lamb and kept sending them to me. It just shows him, she blurred it, but he's him naked in a hotel room. Really fucking wild, bro. He uh, you can show it now. He adopted, took in a feral cat while in Houston because it reminded him of the cat he sold to make the journey here. The whereabouts, fate of the cat, he said goodbye to it in one video are unknown. He was here for at least 44 days according to his vlog and live stream. On Monday the 13th, he streamed himself as was his routine, but he was dressed up and omin ominously carrying around his music instrument case contents unknown at the time he changed to the formal attire he brought and made the last mile journey to my house he ceased he he cased the vicinity for 30 minutes the cops declined to act he streamed himself outside my house slinking around mumbling about how he knew it was wrong but i have to when he started trying to break in, gain entry, I called 911. Dispatch was rude, cutting me off, putting me on hold. It took 33 minutes from me calling 911, having previously already explained the situation to the closest police department branch for the first responders to arrive. Unknown, unknown, the stalker 
an armed person or a group of people. Unknown to the stalker, she had an armed person and other people who she employs have been over her house for protection, heavily armed, behind cameras and security systems, and a big guard dog. I don't want to be responsible for what would happen if you forcibly gained uh, egress and with the apparent lack of motivation for law enforcement, at least in the news regarding shootings, to intercept and the cops. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I have no trouble believing that the cops were worthless to you. Yeah. Out of fear for their own lives, I saw it as the only real option I have. He ended up getting arrested, detained. The embassy was contacted, and he is currently not in Houston. That's all I can say for now. That's actually great news. Yeah. Ultimately. No, I mean, this is a, at least it's something finally happened. But yeah. So she's in the chat, right? Uh, she's in the waiting room. For yeah, bring her up. All right, bring her in right now. One sec. One moment. Go ahead and play the Ben Affleck soundbite, Zach. Why did you unmatch me? Just to set the mood. It's me. It's me. Hello. Oh, there. Hey, Amaranth. Hey, is Caitlin. My uh, what the fuck, dude? So yeah, we just read all your tweets, kind of explaining what happened. Yeah, it's so, crazy. So he is gone. He's he's been arrested. Is he going to be deported? Do you know or no? Um, I'm not sure. I imagine so because I contacted the embassy. So I would think that's a likely outcome. But I'm waiting for the follow up. Right. You can't commit police. a crime when you're on a visa. That's like an instant bye bye. Right. Yeah, I know it's pretty crazy. It seemed I was kind of struck reading your tweets just how much you knew about him. You were following him quite closely, is that right? More of he was harassing me quite closely, I would say, sending me videos and stuff and always chatting in my stream on his new accounts and being weird. And then it became um, more of a surveillance camera because he was streaming his every move when he was in Houston. So it made sense to check in on it and make sure he wasn't near me until he was. So you had someone watching his stream? Yeah. And you had... It sounds like you have quite a bit of security at your house, which is good, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I do. For sure. So, um, that's good that someone was watching his stream. That was really smart, because that's how you guys knew he was outside your house, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty scary stuff, though. Can you describe what happened when he was there as much as possible? Because it sounds really intense, and I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, so basically he was walking around outside my house, you know, going up and down the, the like the street for about 30 minutes. And uh, then he started coming to my door and banging on it. He was saying all the time, like, I shouldn't be here. I know I shouldn't, but I have to. You know, he was pretty Jeez. intense on getting in because he started peering in my window, he started jiggling with all the door handles, like trying to open them. He would hear my dogs barking and be like, I hear her dogs. She's in, this. This is her. So he was very intent on getting in. So that was really scary because the, the police weren't really uh, taking it too seriously until he was physically like in my lot, right? Up and down the street, they were just like, oh, whatever. Took them like 33 minutes to come, even though the police station's like five minutes away. You know, I had, I had a, a similar experience with the police where somebody was drive harassing us outside our house and they're like hmm. call us when he call us when he's trying to break into your house because it's not a crime otherwise right I was like thanks it's like, um it's almost too late at that point so <laughs> so describe what so yeah go on so he basically at one point is trying to break into the house yeah yeah definitely he, he's like forcibly like moving the handles trying to open it trying to like push on it and stuff it's just it's he didn't have anything with him luckily that he was able to like break it he didn't like bring a brick or anything to smash a window but he was definitely trying to get in and so what happened did the situation come to a head like what culminated uh the police got there and uh they confronted him and they ended up detaining him he was like i'm supposed to meet this girl here it's like even though i've told him several times like i don't know you i don't want to meet you don't come here when he was in talking in my chat while he was in Houston, he was at his hotel. He would type in chat in response, liar, li liar, mm, my fiance. I'm like, oh, severe mental gross. illness, clearly. Yeah, something. So you never had to use your security or your dogs or anyone in the house with guns and stuff like that. Uh, they remained inside because we we're trying to get the police to just take him. 
yeah. first. That's um, very smart. Yeah, because he didn't get in though. No, I didn't have to do anything. Uh, I didn't want my my dogs outside in the yard because I thought that would confirm that I, that I did live there because he was live streaming it, you know. Right. And so that's like I don't really want that, but um. That was smart yeah. not to not to intervene, uh, and let the police handle it because you don't want to. You don't want to be involved with him, you know. Yeah, definitely. Is this Ugh. the first time something like this has happened to you? Um. That I was able to see because I did have an arson before, but an arson, have a, yeah. Who set my trash can on fire? Uh, that was either earlier this year or late last year. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Did he get I arrested? I think it was late last year. Uh, we didn't catch him because I didn't have a camera in that specific spot. So he probably was looking for the, the security you, cameras. What the fuck you lighted someone's trash can on fire for? Just for yeah. attention? I guess so because he did it while I was streaming. I and see. it like exploded basically and like made a huge sound against my garage door. So I was like, what is that? And I went out there and I'm like, oh, like I smelled something burning, right? So my first thing, I first like looked in the kitchen, like, do I have any ovens on or anything? I looked at like the heater and I couldn't figure it out. And then I looked outside my, my window and I was like, oh, my trash can's on fire. What the hell? And it had exploded against the garage door. Um, I know you you went through something pretty traumatic but are you feeling relieved now that he's in custody yeah that part is, is very relieving um i don't know what's going to happen now though right it's like if he if he gets out of what, wherever they've detained or wherever they've taken him what's to keep him from trying to come back at a later time i don't yeah, know I, I did you get an opportunity to talk to the police like please you can't this guy is you can probably, now that he's done something, get a restraining order if that's something you want to deal with. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think for these type of people, they, they don't have the uh, mental awareness to actually follow that. So it's still a threat, even if there's more legal repercussions afterwards. They better just kick him out. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I have a follow-up coming up soon um, with the, the detective on the case because, of Good. course, they're always late in these processes, right? So I, like, filed for, like, you know, I told the police about it, and they were starting the case and the harassment. But then it, this happened, and now they have to escalate it further. So it's just like a waiting game. Do you know what charges he got? Part. Um, I am not sure all of them. No, I know for sure, obviously, trespassing, right? Because that's like the yeah. given one. But I don't know what else yet. I'm just wondering if it hopefully is a stiff enough charge where they can deport him. Yeah, hopefully. That's like, it's just crazy. It it's, boggles my mind, too, because he literally sold everything he had to come over here. He sold his house, all of his possessions. I assume God. sold his first cat. Or well, that's an immigration violation, actually. If they find out, that's like a violation of the visa because you have to show that you have an intention to go back if you're mm. going for a travel visa. So that is actually a, a, tri a visa violation. I don't know. Hopefully someone could do something with that. Yeah, because he said it on his uh, stream, too, so it's, like, recorded verbally from him. So That's, that's scary, yeah. man. It's super scary, because with someone who has that kind of mentality, it's like they have nothing left, you know? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. That's scary. If he's got nothing to lose, he sold all this shit. Did, uh, yeah. was there anything weird in his, in his, uh, did you find out what was in the saxophone case? Uh, all I ever saw him take out of it was a saxophone. I didn't see the rest of what was in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, so, I, I, very strange. I guess that's good. <laughs> it was just the saxophone. Maybe. It's weird as I fuck, don't know. but... Well, I know how easy it is to get a fucking gun. Right, so exactly. You're right to be worried about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, people do it illegally all the time. Yeah. That's crazy. You ever be like, yo, I don't want to deal with this shit. I'm just going to fucking retire and move somewhere else and just forget <laughs> all this? Oh... Do you know, I have thought about that, but then I, I, I think, though, truly, that the most crazy people who are the most obsessed won't even stop if you do that. Sure. So That's true. that doesn't really fix the issue, unfortunately. It sucks that people are so fucking crazy. For In sure. your line of work, there's always someone nuts. Like, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, it's just, it's sad, but it's mm -hmm. just. Men, men are fucked up, dude. It's like a you man. You said it. It's a yeah. man thing. I mean, really, like, oh, shit. What can we do? What can we do?
People in the chat saying that he's a sax offender. A sax offender. <laughs> I don't think there's honestly anything you can do except try to be prepared. And, you know, it's like who can, every situation is a little different too. So it's really hard to do that much even. I would say at least you have the resources to get a serious um, security for yourself, you know? For sure. So that's yeah. good at least. And I'm in Texas too, so I'm, I'm legally allowed to defend myself. Well, yeah, but te yeah. So are you a shooter? Do you have experience with guns and knives and shit? Are you ready to throw down if you need to? I mean, I would prefer not to if I had to. Uh, I, I have gone to shooting ranges, you know, I've, I've had some instruction, but I'm, I am I prefer to have an experienced guard yes. here. Absolutely. Because they are less likely to panic in that situation than I am, even if I have experience. Absolutely. Someone suggested, have you thought about building a moat around your house? I have thought about that. When I get my ranch property, I have played the idea of a moat with alligators. And uh... that is on. I wonder if you can illegally do that. Like, not even kidding. Like, have a drawbridge, a fat ass fucking moat. You know, yeah. you could you could put sentinels up there because people Booby were trying. I mean, people were trying to fuck with kings all the time. Yeah, but, have some trap doors. So if they get near your porch, you just click the button. <laughs> Let me ask you this. In Texas, is it legal to pour burning oil on, on someone for self-defense, <laughs> home defense? Um, I, I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> you know? That's maybe one of those things that better to ask for forgiveness for and claim yeah. self-defense than yeah. anything else. You <laughs> right. know? I mean, burning oil. Like, archery. They broke in. Didn't know what to do. It's basically a tower defense game, your house. Yeah. Shit. Amaranth's We can also... We can also have kangaroos in, in Texas. Maybe I'll just get like a an army of punching kangaroos. Yeah, that'd be that's house. actually that'd be kind of dope. Like you specific you can get kangaroos in Texas. That's the thing. Yeah, it's legal. It's considered livestock. Okay. Uh, on a lighter note, though. Oh shit! Look at this house in Florida. This actually isn't even a joke. Can you I'm, see this? There's no laws uh, I can against show Caitlin. Uh, Yo, this is a house in Florida. It's only oh, four million yeah. bucks too. <gasps> How is that a four million dollar house? That looks oh. like a freaking. Yo, look at Disney that! They got a moat. They're gonna have to swim to you, dude. I wonder wow. if you could make it like acid water too, so they dissolve. <laughs> Supposedly, <laughs> there's alligators in this water. No fucking way! What Love does this it. person do? I don't know. Yeah, in Florida they have alligators. Right. I, I guess that makes sense for Florida. <laughs> dude, that's nuts. That's a real thing. There you have it. That's perfect. Um, I want to ask you on a lighter note, since I've got you here, about the fart jars, okay? <laughs> QD2. Yes. Now the Did you enjoy those? Well, I'll just be honest with you, okay? I, first of all, I appreciate your, your entrepreneurship, but we opened them, and we smelled them, and there was no smell inside. And I'm not I calling farted. you out. I'm not trying to say, I'm not accusing you of anything. But I'm just saying. How how soon did you open them when you got them? Like, and how soon did you sniff um, it after you opened it? Let me get the question, details. Actually, they may have been sitting there for a little bit. They may have been, but there's leakage. The first one did have a little bit of something. You there, said, I mean, make up your mind, Avery. No, no, did I, did say, I did say the first one I, did have a little something. No, because you after the show, you like, said you no, didn't after smell it. First one, because you know, Amaranth is a fan, a friend of the show. When I was by Zach doing the second and third one, I may have been a little, you know. Is that what happened, Dan? Yeah. Did you open it ahead of time? It, <laughs> that, that's a possibility. Did you consume this fart privately? Yo, did somebody break into that shit? <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is possible. <laughs> but you're Maybe saying... Maybe we should I'm get like Zach. salt shaker type jars. They're so just little holes and you turn yeah, it to I, sniff. I'm right. guilty. I'm guilty. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a pretty well. <laughs> Zach cracked no. that shit open. No, no, no. But, you know, I, I'm a... Big fan of amaranth, but um, I be honest, I didn't. I smelled plastic or glass. It, it didn't smell like a, a. Didn't smell like a fart. It didn't smell like a fart, and you know, I don't. I'm not trying to be a dick. You know, just... that might actually be even even more proof that they're real because I didn't use fart yes. spray. That we that, were that's, that's about what we that. were gonna say. We got yeah. the same thought. Yeah, we were same like, thought. Mm -hmm. it, if it was good. overwhelming, then it would actually have been. God, more you guys sus. are simps. Sus. Look at you guys. Would have been sus. Look, we can look, confirm. We can confirm. <laughs> look, we can confirm. You see your how hair. they all came to our defense so fast, <laughs> Olivia? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, that's what we thought. That's what we thought. Come on, come on. Look, look. Well, let me just ask you some questions. I want to interrogate you a bit. Did you want to say something, Olivia? 
No. How many jars did you produce? Oh, I'm trying to think what number we were. Uh, uh, I think we capped it at a thousand. So you sold a thousand we, we, of those fucking no, things. No, there, there, there's still there's still some left. So um, how can you how can you feasibly <laughs> fart in a thousand jars? Oh, it's I'm, not all in once, right? It's just over the course of months. I, I keep them in the bathroom, and you know, like maybe TMI for some weak people in here, but um, <laughs> you know how before you have to. Shit. take a shit yeah you have sometimes you have like it's gas wall that sputters a bit i'm just like oh you have the gas <laughs> yeah so how do you but you that, that, that sounds first. risky how do you know you're not going to shit in the glass or did that ever happen oh the, no I, I i have amazing control over my asshole we're good She's, okay. you got good shutter yeah you have a good yeah, shutter yeah. Control. i have a good shutter yeah okay, yeah cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. but still a thousand i mean i'm just doubting the logistics of that a little bit how long were you i just well, we haven't get, done a thousand i'm just yet. asking questions just i'm just the, asking questions the cap <laughs> Mm -hmm. So how long were you collecting farts before you sold them? Um, probably like the just the the leading up to the promos of it that week. So maybe like I don't know five days. F you collected a thousand farts in five days? No, 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 no. We haven't done it. We haven't done the full thousand yet. I'm saying the run is capped oh, 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 at oh, oh, a thousand. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we've gotten through at least a few hundred. Okay, currently. I see. I see. Yeah. I'm, I'm very curious what what your diet has been in order to get the <laughs> farts in the jar, if I may ask. Uh, I just, I consume probably like, you know, anywhere from uh, 80 to 120 grams of protein, whether it's oh. protein bars or shakes, like a normal like fitness diet, and oh, that's yeah. enough for me. Can right. I ask, does that, have any, does that have any noticeable effect on the odor? Just a lot of protein? Um, yeah, some days where it's been mostly protein bars, it gets a little bit, I, mean, I have to get some Febreze after, you know. It's bad. Yeah, I guess a little bad. And so, this is interesting. Okay. So, the ones you sent us were, you're saying they were freshly brewed before shipping? Yes. Okay, interesting. So, maybe we let them sit a little too long. Yeah. Or it's that possible. Or I feel like some people, they open it, and then they smell it. They're, no, like, hesitant. We were fast. We were fast. You are fast? Okay, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. They stuck their nose right in there, boy. No. Yeah. They licked, they actually even licked the bottom of it. <laughs> I the, didn't have the, it. The, the hair was a very nice touch. Now, was oh, that was yes. that a hair from your head? It was, okay. yes. We just, Zach, we where the hell them, else would it be? Zach, chill, We bro. collect them from chill, my hair. I'm asking so. a fucking guy. I, I, bro, look nothing. how long the hair is. Where would it be from? I don't know, dude. We're humans. We grow hair. Just that also came out of my asshole, so... Okay, you that's, know? you know, that could have been the case. Yeah, she not. has a long hair, yeah. a mane of hair around the, her asshole. Dude, ass hair's weird. I don't know. <laughs> well, is he onto something, uh, Amaranth? Do you have a mane of hair around your asshole? Uh, only when it falls in the shower and you have to pick it out and you're kind of like wiping it on the wall during the shower because you don't you know go. what else to do with it. You there don't want to put go. it down the drain, you know? Yeah, no. Of course. Log up. It's yeah. like a Jackson Pollock on the shower door and shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm sensing that there is some legitimacy here. I just want to warn you, if you were not farting in those jars, that could be construed as a... Uh, False advertising, and I would press oh, charges. I, I would pursue charges. I'm aware. Yeah, I would pursue. Uh, only that. organic, all all grown, natural, homegrown, homegrown. There we go. Ethnic homegrown. <laughs> Ethnically uh, produced. Eth ethically produced. There I didn't. Go. I didn't strain myself. You know. And was <laughs> it there? Was it there a new thing you're selling, or was that? Uh... There's someone else who's selling their boob sweat now. I don't know. Ethically Are... produced. Would you Did be? I say ethnically? Both. Ethic, ethically produced. I was eating. I was eating Mexican food too. So both, I guess. Ethnically and oh, ethically. Oh, ethically. Okay. Yeah, lots. Of, there are some beans in there. Both. Would you be? Uh, there's a this other woman uh, streamer who sells her bodily functions in similar way. She's producing boob sweat and selling that. Is that something that you would consider doing? Boob sweat. How do you? How do you capture that? Um, there's a video. She sits out in the sun, sunbathing. And she kind of just has a little vial and just collects droplets as they form. It's like one droplet. That's 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 creative. I haven't no considered idea. that, but I mean, you know, capitalism, baby. Yeah, so. boob sweat or um, maybe a um, let's see, spit, spit. Would you spit? spit. I think Ooh. that would be that one would be very popular if you spit that's in a vial. Right. 
Yeah, they, you Bell could Bell like did that. I think yeah. that's you could, you could almost say that's like a condiment, right? Like <laughs> on your food. You know, it might also be a biohazard like to ship seasoning. that. It may be illegal. Can you ship spit? We we, we had that. Even. We, yeah, yeah. it started COVID. We went through all this. <laughs> Bell Delphine. I'm not saying it was legal. Okay, but I just want to say that's true. It could have been illegal. I just want to say that Bell Delphine spit also magically evaporated. Hmm. Okay. Dude, you know how much bacteria was in that shit? That was after like a year or two. We like found the jar and it was empty. Mm. And maybe but drank it. I do. I, I God, I toenail know. clippings? Would you sell toenail clippings or toenail nail, clippings. nail clippings? Oh, interesting. Ooh, that would be a good one. You know. Would they be like in a jar? Or like sure, yeah. Just a vi- just like you like, know, like your farts vial. are now. Like a keepsake, maybe. You know. That's interesting, Ethan. That seems like it would be an obvious one, toenail clippings, but. I don't know, is there maybe there's no market I guess for... the issue is influencers often get pedicures and stuff so they don't really have their toenail clippings. Mm, well you'll ha- you'll have to grow them right. out a bit. Right right right. right. You know. Yeah yeah yeah. And then I have to clip them and then go to the salon. That would make sense. But Yeah. You could probably grow a new set you know every week mm. at least, right? Maybe even twice a week. If you're, maybe ambitious you know so start good. start taking the collagen pills maybe mm-hmm. to... so that's interesting um piece of toilet paper was that uh that's mm, is that too far that's way too far that's disgusting that's too much, Zach. What that's the too fuck? much. Fuck, dude was shit on it bro Hold who on, said anything about shit? oh my god <laughs> what the fuck what? <laughs> my concern would be leaving my dna like people having my dna and being able to leave that like at a crime scene that's oh what Oh. A toe, they're going to find a toenail clipping at a crime scene? They find a lot less, yeah. <laughs> well, if she sells toenail clippings, she got a perfect out. That's an alibi. How is she ever going to get convicted? She got toenail clippings True. all around the country. True. Maybe it's genius. True. It's, a, it's an alibi. Yeah, that's what it go. is. Okay, um, hold on. I'll be right back. My, my assistant needs me for a second. Should just take like a minute, if that's okay. All righty. Yeah, I'll be right back. So, um... Everyone's but, freaking out about should, Zach's cursed suggestion right now. Dude, that. a shitty oh, fucking... Oh, shut up. A I'm shitty fucking swear. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. <laughs> but now, what you said, toilet paper, were you talking about like a piece of shit, like post-wipe no. or with pee on it or what? Whatever. I was trying to be funny, but clearly <laughs> people don't understand this. How dare you try to be funny, Zach? <laughs> on a comedy show? How dare you? Um, for anyone wondering, I did see a couple people in the chat um, say that you know, Amaranth says she's not doing the boob sweat, but uh, but that their boobs are sweaty right now, and to hit them up. So, if anybody who is um, interested in that offer, there's a lot of food for troopers out there with some boob sweat that are. Uh... Wait, Love just gave a really interesting update. <laughs> you can talk about uh, it, Love. I'm back. Yeah, I I, I kind of like su- like zoned out completely over this conversation because reading this super long legal letter from mr beast <laughs> you just got uh, a letter from mr beast yeah you guys remember the silly sonka website i made for the feastables.me oh because uh, we made it look oh, like there oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. wait what's the website called uh ian, ian just linked it, it. feastables.me then it and, took me uh, to oh wait hold on i just lost no, this is, is this not his real website? No, not, I, I mean, you not guys. a fake one. How did they even find this? This must have zero traffic. Like, what's the traffic on this? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, fuck him. This is Zonka's territory. Wait, where's, yeah. where's the Zilly Zonk? Where you redeem the code. Redeem your code, dude. Yeah. And then you yeah, type something remember? random in. You can just, like, t- yeah, anything, and then... It doesn't really matter what you type in. Just hit... This is Zonka's territory, my guy. Yeah, love went a lot with this. Does this mean yeah. some lawyers have been getting like zilly zonked? <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. Definitely. For sure. That's funny. Wait, hold on. So, uh, so, so, did they just want you to remove the website? Right. Yeah. So they sent a complaint to my uh, my uh, I I have a web server, a giant web VPS or private is... server, and uh, they basically the hosting company reached out to me and said uh, that. If you don't remove it within two days, they have the right to do shit, and uh, yeah, well, pretty much that's. Well, that's so fucking. Weird. What is the traffic on this website? Can you do you have access to that? No. So if I if I want to like like uh, 
look into it in a, or like count all the views. I got to do a bunch of uh, like GDPR stuff and I didn't want to do that for this joke. So I don't uh, track that. I see. Yeah. Well, I just You're erase it. Billy's on Mr. Yeah. Beast, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> definitely just give... I'll not fight. I won't fight this. We one, don't need this. But, we, don't, yeah. we don't. But it's probably something similar to what CavCav did. Yeah, it's dangerous being a, a, a website builder for you, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never heard of this thing, right. and we got it twice in like six months. But to be yeah. fair, I guess he has much more of a case than than. Oh uh, yeah, no, because right. we're impersonating is... his company. In not even the impersonating, it's just a trademark claim uh, and a takedown notice. Yeah, so, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to remove all they the They probably just think and... it's a scam site. I wonder if anyone ever actually clicked redeem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's no way they would sue you willingly or do anything against you willingly like that. But I think eh, maybe. not. I don't think so either. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah. Well, if Mr. Beast is watching this, uh, I, I bow down to you. I won't fight you, bro. <laughs> but I think it'd be pretty funny if he he got. Should we go? Should we fight? Where, I should just we take sent ten on? assassins to Sweden to find love. <laughs> 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 the funny thing with all this is, it's always my name, like love, my last name, like <laughs> so. Or yeah, you the can do it. If next my... time you build a website, do it with our company name. Yeah, I will. I will. Well, I I have a middle middle company. Uh, so yeah, but I'm use my company liable. so that yeah, 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 I'm yeah. the one liable, not you. Sure. Man, Dilly uh, Zonk is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> the thing with, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. with the CavCav website, you technically made it, so they mm -hmm. were serving you. Right. And uh, but we just paid I, for the lawyer and everything. Yeah. But I think the case, I don't have a case that I did it on like a mission for you guys. I technically sold, and I sold the service for hosting it or so, stuff like that, technically, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, very interesting, very fun. Well, shout out to Mr. Beast who's suing. That's a good clickbait. Mr. Beast, <laughs> Mr. Beast is, suing, is us. suing me. <laughs> That's not even a clickbait. <laughs> well, Mr. Beast is threatening yeah. me with a lawsuit. He'd, yeah, be, like, but, he'd be like, "What?" Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, shit, technically, I, am. I I don't think there's a threat of a lawsuit. Just to be super technical, I think they're just saying, "Take this shit down, uh, please." Billy D <laughs> is don't fucking sue talking you. shit right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, love, but this nah, is breaking. No, no. The it's Wednesday important. show just dropped. I'd like to apologize to Ethan Klein for not using him in the thumbnail, even though he is in it for 12 frames. What? Bro, how dare you use me for 12 thumbs and not thumb thumbnail me? I noticed Billy did something else, too. Dan, if you could open his video. Oh, the actual video? Sure. Yeah. Okay, one sec. I saw it on his last episode, but then... Should I play yeah, play it. You can mute it. Stop what you're doing. He's added a rabbit in his background. That's bullshit. Yo. That's that. Oh. Oh my. That's that, Billy. He's on Twitter today being like, what should we name the rabbit? No, 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 no. Bro. Nope. That's Bruh. theft. I'm taking down your channel. I'm doing a yeah, copyright. Clean. Claim him. <laughs> Show the thumbnail again he posted. Like, are you seriously going to tell me that this pixelated bullshit with two red arrows in a circle, <laughs> first of all, shame on you for using those, is better than my face? Hell no. Never. <laughs> He's working against me to make us on number one. I'm, this is outrageous. What should he name the bunny then? Judas. Fraud. Yeah, Judas. <laughs> ja Rule. <laughs> ja Rule. <laughs> Let me show you to make a thumbnail. This is one from our highlights channel recently. Weird yeah. and gross. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is you with Philip are, DeFranco coming for reporting. You. What, love? <laughs> Another one of those are coming for you, Philip. I'm, I'm on Today. It. Yes, today. By the way, it's just a funny clickbait gag because when you click the video, it was just me complaining that I'm not in enough thumbnails. <laughs> My issue with Philly, Philip DeFranco's reporting. Fuck him, dude. Yeah, people are saying, where's Cam? <laughs> That's a good point. Do you think he, do you think he, he's the one that left the group today? He went and hop ship to go work for Philly? Cam's on a secret mission right now. 
that's all I'll say about that. Highly classified. Um, so how long have we been oh. going, by the way, Dan? Uh, we've been going for two hours and 19 <sighs> minutes. And oh, uh, okay. Amaranth just came back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Cop showed up to ask about the situation. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's a priority. Was it a yeah. detective? What kind of cop was it? I just, just I guess, a, a regular one. I don't know the types. Didn't look any different than normal. What do you so, want to know? It already happened. I, I can't talk about what he wants to know. Oh. Legally. Did he ask, what was it? Are you single? No. Wouldn't that be crazy if the cop became the new creeper? <laughs> Sorry. Be the first time a cop was a creeper. Yeah. So, we were talking about kind of other commodities from your body we could sell oh that's, yes please give that, me give that, me ideas that's where I we left that. off <laughs> by the way is it true that the fart idea came from me um a mixture of you and then like seeing just seeing the articles of that girl who got hospitalized which i don't believe by the way that she was hospitalized for farts i think she probably got oh. covid and then decided to spin it into press smart while she was there yeah. I believe that's the same girl who was selling the boob sweat. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Smart girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm not sure what else. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, do you ever like scrape your feet to clean them? That you could sell that. Snarly. <laughs> I've never thought about that. Like wow. A pumice stone like, thing. Yeah, like a pumice people, stone. Do you think? Do you think that that's I don't know. Like they, they'd be like dead skin cells, like flakes in a. In a I don't know. That, that might be too much. <laughs> I think the gnarlier, the more press, right? The gnarlier, the more press. True. true, 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 true. So, do you use makeup wipes? Oh, you that's a good them. idea. Oh, makeup wipes. used makeup wipes, oh. and each one is individual, like a snowflake. Oh, that's super that's, good idea. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's Olivia. a good idea. I mean, wow. <laughs> how about this? Zach said toilet the paper. Her. Zach said yeah. toilet paper, and I don't want to be too hard on Zach. So let, mm. let me, he might be onto something. Let's say <laughs> you wipe, and then the la you sell the last wipe. So it's basically clean. Uh huh. I so see. there's not so like covered like... in shit. It might right. be totally clean since it's the last mm -hmm. wipe. So maybe you sell that one. Thoughts? Mm. That could work. It's a it's a billion dollar idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It because it's it has like that crinkle and like the yes. faint scent oh. of something was on this, but like not it, actually it, gross it, to, yeah. to touch for me. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. Oh God! Someone said tonsil stones. Do you get those? <laughs> no, I don't think that's I, I horrific. Don't get those. Ew. Yeah, that's a that's <laughs> terrifyingly disgusting. <laughs> that is vile. Oh God. I mean, underwear is obvious. That's like oh, you know, like That's when like your chapstick obvious. goes down all the way and you can't use it anymore. There's an idea. Just use where chapstick. Like, but like, like all the way used chapstick, where it's like you can't even use it anymore. Like right before you throw it away. Just sure. That there's sure. there we go. Sure. Like stu little stub. Absolutely. I was thinking like acrylic nails, like they pop off, like these, will like pop oh. off, and you could sell those. I feel like someone would buy that. Acrylic nails. Yeah, Just yeah, me. that's true. I like that idea. There's some horrific suggestions. I could clip the acrylic nails as well, so just to make them last longer. If you were, this, forgive me, this might be a bit much, but I'm just think, I'm just spitballing everything. everything. That, Ethan. Yeah, I like, should have not it said it. Being something, I clench. Like, why the fuck did you say? <laughs> I <laughs> it's gonna be one I of them. I clench every. I'd yeah. very much like to hear this, Ethan. <laughs> I was ostracized, so you might as well join me. If you ever become pregnant, would you ever consider dropping a, a drop of breast milk maybe in a vial? Oh, mm. that's not a b bad idea. That's not a it, bad idea. That wasn't that's not as horrific idea. as I thought that was. Some people have produced too yes. much. So, I mean. Overproduction so. of breast milk? Mm -hmm. But just a drop, you know, so they know yeah, you yeah. were there. Yeah. That's a really <laughs> good idea. All right. Well, if you want any more ideas, you're going to have to pay for it. So. I, I understand. Yeah. Thank you for the con consultation. This is the uh, first trial, you know, the, the free consultation. and any yeah, Absolutely. Further. Anything after this Hourly is going to cost you. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for calling in and sharing your story. I'm glad that that's sorted. Let's just hope that it goes away for good. Yeah, for sure.
it's yeah it's a pretty crazy situation and then a lot of girls were reaching out to me too afterwards telling me about their stalker situations and how right. we should just like make support groups for this so we can share ideas for safety that's honestly a really good idea mm -hmm. right. i think so you're gonna have to like home alone your house some of these girls <laughs> booby traps yeah <laughs> yes. absolutely all right caitlin Take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks. You too. God Thanks bless. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for calling. We're glad you're safe. That's Amaranth, yeah, everybody. Huh. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. All right. Nice to see you. God bless. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. All right, Dan, anytime. <laughs> anytime. It takes me. Uh, I really like her. She's, she's, she's a smart... She's a real She's one. real smart, real real nice. Yeah. I like her. Funny. That's a shame, man. The dudes are so fucking crazy. It's like if you get into the kind of line of work that she does, or even not, let's like if you're just a woman online, your life is at your life is in danger. Thank you. It sucks. <laughs> well, to be honest, like she has resources, but there's some women online that have stalkers that don't have resources, and that's very scary. Yeah, I've uh, seen a lot of YouTube videos. There, there's some series that like tells horror stories from OnlyFans, and oh. so many girls on OnlyFans get stalkers, and it's so dangerous. People are the worst. Oof. Why did you unmatch me? Ben I accidentally hung up on up love, there. Dan. It's me. <laughs> you wake up, and this is the first thing you hear. It's me. Scary or endearing? Yeah. We'll never know. Why did you unmatch me? <laughs> <laughs> what else we got here? Um, what else we got? What else? We got? Britney Spears wedding drama. It's kind of old news. Old news. And we did technically talk about it on Monday for about 10 seconds. So, yeah, we, uh, we you have this it. philosophy discussion that you've been teasing for. Should weeks we do that? Now. I mean, okay, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So, you know, we have these discussion prompts we do from time to time. Mm -hmm. And I dreamed this one up as I was cutting a particular item. And I thought, like, man, if this disappeared from the world, Tomorrow, we would lose so much. We would lose so much. Mm -hmm. And then I got thinking, and I posed the question to the crew, if you could select, or yeah, if you could select one fruit or vegetable to disappear where, forever, which one would have the biggest impact on human life? So one fruit or vegetable disappears, which one's gonna have the biggest effect? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I know there's there's probably a whole range of answers. Some's on the culture. Some's on like you know just people being not being able to eat, right? Like there's that angle. Mm -hmm. But everyone gets a everyone has an answer. We've been thinking about this for a while. So this is very interesting. I see people in the chat already getting all getting worked passionate up. about it. And worked up. So, who, so Dan, why don't you go first, and we'll work around our way around. I have, I have a, a point of clarification. You say fruits and vegetables. Now, or just one item. Right, right, right. I understand that it's it's just a singular item. But fruits and vegetables aren't like they're 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 like terms that are used in botany and stuff. But it's not actually like a, a hard, like it, it's a little nebulous of what qualifies as one or the other. <laughs> And you I asked. wanted to know if you would allow um, seeds, grain, grain, yeah, seeds no. as no. an answer. Okay. No. Okay. Because my immediate thought was rice. Yeah, rice would rice probably would kill be like everybody. devastating if yeah, rice disappeared. But not rice. Not but rice. if we can't include rice, my next answer is tomatoes. What's your supporting for that? I believe tomatoes are the biggest non-grain crop in the world by like a lot. And they are used in an immense amount of different cuisines. 
Um, I mean, mo I think I can't speak for other countries, but here in America, you know, you probably wouldn't go a day without eating a tomato product in one form or the other. Well, Whether it be ketchup or a sauce or or just a, a tomato slice, pizza. That's um, what I was cutting when I thought that. Oh, really? It was a tomato. It's the tomato. Okay. And I thought this this tomato, which is technically a fruit, right? Um, in every culture, they have these incredible dishes all around tomato, mm -hmm. salsa, pizza. Right. Also. Um. That's all I can think about. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> the only two main things you eat. Soup. Mexican food and pizza. <laughs> no, but Did you confirm it, that, AB? Yeah, I'm looking at Tomato right really now. is the most... Tomatoes are the most popular vegetable. They're not a vegetable. What are you talking about? Stop it. Well, okay, they're technically a fruit. You're right. Thank you. So, that, that does throw this fact-checking into question, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. is it, uh, The reason that there's such a debate around that is, like I was saying at the beginning, the... the the borders between fruit and vegetable are more nebulous than we were led to believe as children. There's, it's not a hard and fast rule about what makes a fruit or a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, but the tomato is so versatile, man. It has, it's incredible, this little plump red little fuck. It, 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 it's just transformed all across humanity. Everyone uses a veg, uh, tomato. Every ethnicity, every region, Look at that. It's crazy. The tomato is so prolific. Like a lot. Like I said, yeah, I remember Whoa. reading this at one point. It's like by far the biggest. Now, that's not including, again, grains, corn, you know, things that... Wait, this says, according to most nutritionists, tomato is a vegetable. However, botanists describe the tomato as a fruit. That's what I'm saying. What? It's, it's, a, it's not... I go with the botanist. Concrete. Nutritionist doesn't even mean anything. You don't even need credentials to be a nutritionist. Well, fair enough. I go with the botanist. But anyway, that's uh, a lot of tomatoes. So, somebody I'm, named O oh Sweet Potato just gifted 10 uh, memberships. I think they might be trying to affect the outcome of this vote a little bit, Mr. Sweet Potato. Well, I'm going to read it. I'm seeing it's just place, oh, potato, sweet potato is the most popular. You're saying what? I'm seeing potato. Some people are saying potatoes. Yeah, potato is a big one. But, but actually, this is real interesting because it goes tomato, onion, cucumbers, and then cabbage, which I wouldn't expect. Cabbage is a bro broccoli. I would expect like bananas or um, potato. Spinach. To be higher. Because a potato is kind of like rice where it's like everyone starves if the potato disappears in a lot of places. Right, but potatoes aren't a grain. And I guess that... I think it's a fruit as well. You know, I see all these people talking about corn. I'm a little unclear on corn because it, is corn technically a grain? No, it's a vegetable. I oh, looked it is it a up. vegetable. Oh, well, I thought corn it's starch. Is a... Maybe the question should have just been <laughs> crop. Wait, Zach, what's this? What well, do you if mean it's crop, starch? it's rice. If if it's just crop, period, my answer right. is rice. No, right. no, no. That's it's, not the question. Right, that's not the corn question. Not it's, it's a, it, corn is a starchy vegetable. It's starch. It is a it, vegetable. Huh, I thought like maize is maize a grain. Yeah, but cor corn is another really good guess. But yeah, tomato, I didn't know that was number one by far. I mean, that's fascinating. Everyone loves the tomato. See, this, I'm, I'm unclear on this. Look at this. Maize, which is what corn comes from. Corn is a, just a variant. It's a cereal uh, grain. It's a cereal grain. Maybe there's different... I think maybe the old corn is different from the new corn. I guess it, maybe like... When it's like developed into like a corn on the cob, at that point it's a vegetable. But when you see like the old corn back, like Aztec corn, it's yeah. like completely different. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the corn that we know is like a weird genetic like uh, mutation of the actual crop. Maybe if happened. you go to like uh, modern day corn, maybe you can get more intel there. Uh, corn, 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 corn. People are saying soybean as well. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Too. Sugar cane. Sugar cane might be. Mmm, sugar. Oh, that is a good answer. Sugar cane would fuck the world up. But see, that, I mean, that's not a fruit or a vegetable. Dude, this, for some reason, is like the hardest thing I've ever had to fact check. It's all over the place. This is what I'm saying. It's I've like looked all into over it before, too, because sugar cane is a 
grass. Interesting. A grass. Corn is literally fuel. What the fuck is this conversation? Yeah, you, listen, I get it. Corn is a big one for sure. And I wasn't purposely excluding corn. It's just it was a little unclear to me if it qualified because there's this debate about whether it's a grain. Can you look up more stats on the... What's the most farmed crop? Because that one said vegetable. I don't know if it including... I think the most farmed crop is rice. Let's look if, that up. What is the most farmed crop? Isn't this interesting? Sugar, sugar is sugar from a grass. Right. So would it technically... Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, wait. Here, I'm getting more info on sugar. Food commodities. It actually lists sugar cane. In metric... Oh, this is in tons? I mean, I guess that's as good a way of measuring it as So anything. what do we have? Sugar cane. Whoa! Is the highest, according to Production that. volume of the most produced food commodities in 2019. So sugar would... Yeah, Damn. sugar's a big one there, man. Sugar? Corn. Okay. I'm seeing corn. Wow. I didn't realize... I mean, I know people love corn, especially in America. We have, like, a shitload of corn. But I didn't realize around the world that shit was so popular. Well, and it's it's just used for a lot of uh, people saying Dan hits corn diet. Do not put that out there. I fucking love corn. Corn is over the fuck rated, bro. Don't it's you guys feed your like rated. cows? Corn? Are tea? you serious, dude? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cows eat corn. Yeah, dude, I don't think I they do corn. that in other parts of the world. It's just isn't because... that like a negative in some way? Bro, it's so stupid. We like the government subsidized corn. It's like a relic of like depression era and we have so much mm. corn we turn it into sugar and syrup and feed it to cows it's fucking stupid oh. and we just put it in fucking everything by way of the uh corn syrup yeah the uh the corn industry uh is um not a great thing for the planet so i'm not going to try and defend it on that merit but a fucking grilled up corn on the cob with some butter spread across okay. are you trying to tell me that it's slap yep. Fuck it. what the fuck are you saying? i'd rather eat something else they had corn at Jeez. Disneyland, and it was disappointing. It they was, sell corn on the cob at yeah. Disney? What did they put on it? It wasn't even on the cob. No, nothing. And they didn't Just a bowl it. of corn? Just a thing, whatever it's called. The cob. Oh, I said yeah. corn on the cob. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had Mexican I thought, street corn? What they what they oh, season okay. it with? So good. So good. Nothing. Though. They didn't have anything. Oh, shit. It was just plain corn? corn what yeah. the fuck? Steamed. What? Well, just steamed corn? corn? I mean, just steamed. Plain. They didn't butter it. No butter, no salt, nothing. No cool looking Wait, where spices. Was this? Disneyland. No what way. What the fuck are they doing at Disney? Where? Really? How yeah. could they do that? Jupiter was right. Cancel Disney. They... <laughs> That's unforgivable. How much you spent on, for that corn? How much was $15? it? $15. I'll never forget. 15 bucks yeah. for one corn. For $15? No, no. For me and Lena, two of them. So seven fifty or something. Yeah, that there. shit's basically free in America. Yo, but they don't put anything on it? Nothing. I was telling Lena, I wonder what the profit margin is on one piece of corn. Good, right very now. good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're paying <laughs> ten cents. Like ninety nine percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, they're really dropping the ball because you can do a lot with the corn on the cob. It's my favorite I'm... vegetable by a mile. It I is. love corn. Yeah. It is so. I love so... cream corn. I think that's like one of my favorites. Okay, so... I'm on Disneyland website, and I guess they do have some with. Chili? What is this? Butter? Chili spice butter. That's like Mexican. the Mexican. That's like the Mexican. The Mexican yeah. Okay. Way, yeah. yeah. But the place I went didn't have anything. Maybe they were out. I guess it's five twenty nine. Maybe with tax. Maybe. Yeah. You held on to that though. You got burned hard. Mm -hmm. You never forgot it, did yeah. you? Yeah. I was watching the water show and it was just distracting me the whole time as I was <laughs> eating it. I can't believe I paid this much for corn. Lena, how was the corn? Was it really like AB's describing? Oh, she said it was good. Oh, she's going against the family. Lena liked the corn. <laughs> I mean, it was good. It wasn't $5 good. Was it $5 good, Lena? She... It's not that bad. Five bucks for a corn at Disneyland. It's not that bad. I mean, Just I was saying. expecting regular corn, and, and that's, that's what it tasted like. There wasn't any disappointment. I was at Disney. I thought it would be some fattening over-the-top corn. I would, I would expect that. But I am saying, I mean, five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that bad. Disney was... I, I can't believe how expensive that place is. Disney as a place is fucked. I don't know how these massive families go there. Like, low... Like, 
middle class families with like 10 fucking kids. Yeah. You have to take out a damn loan to go there, dude. It's like $200 just for a normal ticket to one park. For yeah. I was something like that. I just know for the whole day me and Lena was 750. Wow. And we didn't buy anything special. I mean, we got the Genie Pass, which was like an extra 40 each, but that's it. So you guys almost spent a thousand for just thousand one day at Disney. Yeah. You feel burned by that experience? Yes. Yeah. I feel like I was too old for it. I don't blame you, man. Mm-hmm. A thousand bucks. And did you guys do both parks or just one? Both parks. You did both parks in one day? Yeah, we didn't get to do everything, but... Yeah, that's a lot for one day. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's someone in the chat that I just feel like I have to acknowledge because they're very insistent about this. Um, Go ahead. Can we talk about how good asparagus is? I like asparagus. I, I want to acknowledge you. I fucking love asparagus. Asparagus is... I love S-tier. asparagus, He's... but it's a niche vegetable. I don't think it has universal acclaim. And how do you prepare asparagus? You basically just, like, grill it or steam it. Yeah, and that's fucking great. Or It's know. not versatile like these other ones, I'm saying. Mm, I think you can do some interesting... Does it make your pee smell like farts? It doesn't make it smell like farts. I feel like it makes it smell like asparagus. I just smell farts when I eat it. <laughs> you guys made me try asparagus only because I wanted to see if my pee... And? ...smelled weird. I'd f- I, well, I don't re- didn't really like it, so I didn't eat too much. But I didn't feel anything. You didn't smell anything? No. Dude, if I have one nibble, I can smell it. Really? It's insanely strong. Lena makes it all the time. I never notice it. I never notice it. Really? I pee, yeah. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if I have super smelling abilities. Because sometimes I smell shit that I don't think I should have access to. <laughs> like You've unlocked doors that should have stayed closed. Like when I sneeze, I can smell it like real heavy. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's never happened to me. I have a incredibly bad sense of smell. My nose is not sensitive at all, and so you may, you may be right about the fart thing, and I just don't smell it. I don't know. Has anyone ever smelled their sneeze before? Yes, I was just yeah, going to try. I see in. what you is mean. It yeah, kind of like when you taste blood. It tastes like that a little bit. I honestly don't know how to describe it. It's just really gross. It's like a bacteria smell. Yeah, it's Almost. just really gross. I sneeze every time I go outside in the sun. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's normal, but... I'm I've really heard people it. say that. When you look up at the sun, yeah. and you sneeze. Mm-hmm. People are saying it's a Jew thing. What? The smell... What? The smelling my pee? Asparagus what? is... Smelling asparagus is genetic, people are saying. Is that right? Oh, I mean, hmm. that may be the case. I don't know if it's a Jew thing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds... Jews smell right. pee when they eat asparagus, folks. <laughs> when you guys uh, <laughs> eat cilantro, does it taste like soap at all? It tastes like a dream. You love oh, I've cilantro. heard of that. Do you have that experience, Zach? No, no, no. I do. I hate it. No, that's so sad. I feel terrible. What about for... salsa and all the Mexican cuisine? I would rather it not have it in it, but I've learned to like eat it. Holy you know? shit! I feel so bad for that. Yeah, that is that is a tragic. I get tragic that with thing. Uh, parsley. Parsley yeah, tastes no, exactly good. like soap to me. It's so oh, bitter. Why? Let let I me read this. Cilantro. This is real interesting, Ooh. guys. Some people have the ability to smell uh, asparagus urine, while others do not. Huh. This specific um, on- In no- onosmia is, or inability to smell a certain odor is associated with a single nucleide polymorphism near the olfactory receptor gene, OR2M7, a protein coding gene. So it is, I think I have super smelling. I really do. I smell shit, and I... I feel like it. I I smell it. It's just it doesn't smell like farts to me. It just Dude, it's like... so strong, it's like insane. Get this, it's mm-hmm. estimated that between 20 to 50% of people experience it. That's it. 20 to 50. That's it? Mm-hmm. I thought everybody got the asparagus piss. Huh. I It smells to me, but I wouldn't describe it as a fart smell. Right. That, Dude, yeah, it's... I'm with you, Zach. Yeah. What can I say? I think my super smelling is more of a curse than a gift, I think. Because generally... In most it's cases, I could see how that would be a negative. Not thing. good. Yeah. yeah. Some people say, can you smell when the season change? That's Why? fucking... Not in LA, there's no season yeah, change. We don't have season. I, know what <laughs> I know what they're talking about, though. I mean, I imagine once it hits spring and all the pollen starts yeah. being released. Pollen, you can smell that. leaves falling. I mean, yeah. 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 In the city, it's hard, but being from the country, I know exactly what they're talking about. You can totally smell like fall 
Right. It has a very distinct smell. Can we do a poll? Um, do you smell asparagus in your pee? Do yes you or no? Asparagus in your pee. Yes. No. I have like supersonic hearing. That's a gift and a curse too. You have super hearing? Yeah. Interesting. What? What am I saying right now? Bro. What? Did something about me being an Arab or something? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean that's that's, that's basically it says 40, 40, 60 basically, just rounding. Huh. Zach, I could, Zach, I, I've heard you. The I, was time. I was testing him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but back to the crops. So we've got cane by far, king cane. Corn, wheat, makes sense. Rice and wheat are pretty neck and neck there. Wheat, of course, bread. Who the fuck doesn't eat bread? The corn is like significantly higher than rice. I'm actually blown away by it. Is that. that just America that we're like fucking up the stats? <laughs> is that just pure? Because we turn that shit into syrup, popcorn. We, I mean, we eat a lot of uh, corn in Europe too, I think. It's, at least in Sweden, like popcorn, obviously, corn just to the food, corn on the cob, yeah. So let's well, see. as far as the corn production, it's, you know, mostly the, uh, what do you call it? The being used for animal feed. That's true. Being used for making ethanol. That's true. And being used to be turned into high fructose corn syrup, so which at least in America, we put into almost everything that we eat. And drink. It's a versatile vegetable, actually. You could say that. It's vers versatile. I don't know if that's a good thing. That after we rice, thing, but... after wheat and rice, you've got whole milk from a cow. Uh, uh, semen is is another kind of milk. Does that include semen, or is that just from a milk? Is utter. Uh, oh, palm oil. Uh, the next one is oil palm fruit, which I'm assuming there's yeah. palm oil. Yes. Which I know I've heard is extremely unhealthy. Uh, there is a decent amount of controversy around it. Yes. Um, some people do actually say that it's. A positive thing because I believe the uh, the vegetable oil that you get from it, you can you get like per acre of land that you farm palm oil, you get like ten times the amount of oil that you would from like just normal. So vegetable. ecologically positive. But then the places where it grow, they're like slashing and burning the rainforest to make the plantation. So it's Not like good. so there's like yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of yeah controversy around it. So after palm oil is potatoes, soybeans, I have no idea what's the next one, cassava? I don't know Cassava what that beans, I think. What the fuck is that? Never heard of the damn thing. Is it a fava? Wait, nutty? I was so wrong. I don't think it's beans, I think it's a root. Yeah, it's a root. What? Nutty flavored starchy root vegetable or tuber. Native, Native to South, South America, major source of calories and carbs for people in many countries. Whoa, Nigeria, Nigeria Thailand, Indonesia are top consumers of cassava. Yo, that's interesting. That's like a top 10 product. I never even heard of it. Yeah. It didn't... Not being, used much here. Being gluten-free, I eat a lot of cassava flour things. Mm. Shout out cassava. Is that... I've, have I had those in salads sometimes? Is that what it is? Where it's like kind of a flavorless, crunchy type of thing you're that's probably what it is. you're talking about jicama yeah i'm talking about jicama what is jicama yo we or, gotta or do... as people at my restaurant used to say all the time jicama <laughs> jicama no, no jicama please yeah we gotta do barbecue salad but i don't want any of this here uh jicama <laughs> we gotta do a cassava taste test i don't think anyone in here has had cassava Anybody know how to prepare it Sam can prepare it. Yeah, we can find she's, she's a culinary genius. And then this is sugar beet and tomatoes is like way down the list. Barley, buffalo milk, chicken meat, the bananas, pork, watermelon, onion, sweet potato, cucumbers, apples, eggs, oranges, grapes. And jerkins. That's the same shit, isn't it? Like why you why egg, orange, grapes, yams, rape seed. Bro, I still can't get over that name. Rapeseed. In Sweden, we say rapeseed, which is a little bit more friendly. I feel yeah, like. no, here it's straight up rapeseed. Yeah, it's fucked up. You need a trigger warning before you fucking... 
talk about this seed. The first time I heard that, I thought people were fucking with me. They go, yo, it needs, you need some rapeseed oil. I said, you need fuck, you need what? You need rapeseed oil. The fuck? Yeah. I sent you the wiki page. It, it is. I, first line is pretty interesting. Oh, yeah? I Did you anyone have that same reaction when you found out there was a country called uh, Niger? Niger. Mm. Niger. Yeah. Niger. That's too... I'm not saying it like that, love. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry. But I said it actually... Like with the right pronunciation, sorry. Yeah, no, you're good, weird. you're good. I'm just not going to pronounce that country's name. But did you all trip out when you realized that there was a country called Niger? Yeah, when I was like seven, Ethan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you did. Thank you. It's supposed right. to be pronounced with a J, I think. So say it. Niger. Sound like that, Jack. Oh yeah! Don't <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. That's horrible. It's French. That's why. Rape seed, also known as rape. They just they took the seed out. I swear to God, that's what it says here. They they dropped the seed. That was the only part that made sense. Rape seed, also known as rape, or oil seed rape. What in the fuck, dude? We gotta <laughs> we gotta amend the. My seed is all over this place. Ew. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what was the context of that? That's disgusting. Yeah, what was FaZe Banks had sex in the treehouse? Oh, was that when he was saying goodbye to the FaZe house that he was living in? Or yeah, yeah. My God. seed? Like he jizzed all over the place? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Bro? My seed, yeah. So does anyone want to talk about their, or did we kind of butt? blow through that but does anyone else want to share me and dan are both tomato anyone else got an interesting response I mean, my life personally i would say potatoes just because potatoes were such a big deal when i was younger uh for my family because we were broke and my fam my immediate family and then my dad's family growing up had like 20 different ways to prepare potatoes so interesting yeah sure you're arab yeah, that's why you guys uh, see, you guys make fun of. Well, I am half Irish, but oh, you, you yeah, guys see right. me. You guys see me eating raw potatoes. Yeah, uh, that was one of the snacks. Just raw potatoes. Uh, just raw potatoes. Raw that's potatoes. Dude, dog, Sasha yeah. from fucking Attack on yeah. Titan. But for real. So wait, do people actually eat raw potatoes? Like, is that? Guys, I know you do, but is that a thing? That I didn't people know do around until the world? I was about probably like 19 years old that that's not normal. I mean, Somebody if you like said it, said in the fun. chat uh, that they like uh, raw tomatoes. So. Somebody else. Potatoes. Yeah. It's pretty I, gnarly, Last bro. time we talked about it on the show, I saw some people telling me that they as well eat. Can we do a poll? Have, do you eat raw potatoes? I'm just curious how many people out there are raw dogging potatoes. We're trying to find the rawest of the raw. <laughs> uh, who out there is raw dogging potatoes? Someone says raw potato and salt. That's interesting. You ever do that? Yeah, that's that's what it was. That's yeah. the vibe. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Do you do you skin it or you eat the skin? You skin it. You skin it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you cut it up or you eat it like an apple? Uh, when I was older, I ate it like an apple. Well, I skinned it, then ate it like an apple. But when I was a kid, it was my mom would chop slices. It up with salt. Yeah. Yo, a clear ten percent of the audience eats raw potato. That's that's my people. Wow, my fellow potato eater. That's very. That is like, statistically speaking, that's like, nothing. I mean, ten percent. <laughs> but they're out there. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm not alone. That's all that matters. Lena, do you eat raw potato, or were you shocked when you saw he did that? Yeah, I was shocked. I've never eaten that before. <laughs> so did he just pick up a, a potato and start getting to it? And you're like, what's going on here? I did it in yeah, our exactly. basement. Yeah, Th That's what happened. I didn't even know he does that. I think I was like cutting fries, what? And then he grabbed a piece and just started like snacking on it like that's normal and i'm like what's going on <laughs> i thought i did it in front of her whole family yeah when they were preparing dinner one night and her mom's from the same neighborhood as me so i thought maybe she was up to game but she was like what are you doing and i was like oh this isn't normal that's it man you're salt of the earth you eat potatoes raw dude mm -hmm. there you have it anyone else yeah um i was going to say any type of citrus fruit whether it be orange, lemon, because vitamin C is very important to 
I think, us living, yeah? We don't get scurvy, you know, though we get vitamin C from the sun. I feel like any type of citrus fruit might be uh, important for survival. So the whole genre of citrus whole fruit. whole genre of citrus fruit, yeah. The whole family of citrus fruits. Yes. I, I, I don't want to blow your mind right now, Zach, but if you like highest crop and vitamin C, I don't even think it's citrus stuff. I think like broccoli has more vitamin C. It's kind of crazy. Plums, Plums. Look at this shit. Plums have more vitamin C. Cherries. Hmm. Chili peppers? Guavas? I'm proven wrong. Yellow peppers? Shocked right now. Cantaloupe. Is it D vitamin that's in, in parsley? Citrus? Spinach, kale, kiwis, broccoli, I was, Brussels sprouts, lemons is number 15. I was always told that, like. Yeah. Wow. It's actually a. T I, I, everyone learns that, but it's actually a. a not true. Interesting. I mean, they do have vitamin C, right? Wow. But it, it's not even anywhere close to the most rich. Oh, isn't that crazy? It. That's blowing. Strawberries, me. oranges, you know. Oranges is even twenty. What the fuck? They say what? Yeah, you're oranges on the bottom. To, like eat oranges and lemons and shit. No wonder it doesn't do. I bet you will, shit. I bet you that was just like some marketing ploy by the well, citrus or, people. Or some old wives' tale or something like that. You know, like I don't know. Like I, it's always like you're sick. Eat some lemon. Eat some. You know. Well, they do that. They did that with um. <sighs> God, my thoughts just evaporated. <laughs> I was, I, fuck. Milk. They milk, did that right. with milk. Milk is like very unhealthy, and the marketing people for milk convinced the whole country that like you need to drink milk to be healthy. A glass of milk a day keeps yeah, the which is away. like super bad for you. Yeah, they even had like campaigns with like when I was a kid with Mario drinking milk and commercials. Right, yeah. right, right. Wow. Well, you have. Uh... I've learned a lot today. They're still healthy, though. I mean, you know, they're healthy. Right, but I guess, what was the number one? Fucking... Number one is, um, a, this kind of plum. Well, I guess I'm gonna eat that next time I get sick. <laughs> well, actually, also, I hate to blow your mind, but vitamin C doesn't help you when you're sick. What the fuck? Yeah, sorry. I feel lied to. You have been lied to. Does vitamin... Like, all those emergency shits, again, I'm sorry, but that shit's all pseudoscience. Does vitamin C help really? you when? Yeah, it helps prevent, doesn't it? Dude, he's scoring. Um, I don't even think it helps prevent. To be totally honest, vitamin C has been studied for many years as possible treatment for colds, but the findings have been inconsistent. It says treatment for colds or as a way to prevent colds. Findings have been inconsistent overall. Experts have found little to no benefit from vitamin C for preventing or treating the common cold. But I will tell what is good for it is just drinking lots of fluids. So people do that, right? Right. Maybe that's they squeeze it into a glass of water and they're drinking lots of water. Well, thank you for teaching me this, Ethan. Anything else you want to put out that I sh can shatter for you? How are babies made? <laughs> it's, it's actually uh, flown in on a bird. <laughs> Yo. Historic, yeah. Yo. I knew it. Isn't that interesting, though? What about the stork? Here, they did a whole study. This is from. Uh, this is a whole study they did. People took vitamin C only after they got the cold. Vitamin C did not improve their symptoms. I, I've always thought it was vitamin C and uh, zinc helps with... I don't uh, think zinc does shit either. So what, you just gotta just drink water and live through it? Yeah. You got the cold? Yeah, drink water, don't exert your body. That's the best thing you can do. Hmm. You know? Awesome. Well, thank you, Professor Klein. You're absolutely welcome, Zach. What about, absolutely. Uh, whiskey, is whiskey uh, doing you a cold? I would say whiskey probably stuff. not. Well, hot whiskey toddy. Whiskey is some, uh, some nice Virginia-grown tobacco. They did used to think that, though. If you drank a bunch of... If you got pissed drunk when you were sick, it would help you kill the bacteria. <laughs> Horrible idea. That just makes you feel good for maybe a second. That's such <laughs> a bad idea. But yeah, that emergency stuff is total bullshit. Wow. Well, all they do is like packed with vitamin C and it doesn't do anything. Sorry, everybody. So disappointing. Anyone else?
Mm, I was thinking about cocoa beans. It's definitely not the most used, but cocoa it would definitely bean. impact the world a lot. That would be that would be devastating yeah. if we lost that. And obviously coffee beans too. Oh, coffee bean, another good one. Yeah. Yeah. That would be tragic. That would be no more chocolate. To lose coffee and chocolate. To be fair, in most modern chocolate, it's like five percent cocoa. That's in, it. But still. But well, you need the cocoa, five percent. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what's going on? People are gifting. What happened? A uh, shout out to R Word Seed family <laughs> for twenty gifted subs. Oh wow! Thank you, R Word Seed. Wait, make that account just. To oh dude. wait, uh, Ross Champion said this one's for you, AB. Lectin and sol solane solanine is a toxic compound. That can be found in raw potatoes. It can yeah, cause diarrhea. As I've gotten older, I've heard this. Um, but oh. did, did you find you've been affected by actually, that or not? Really? It wasn't as I've gotten older. It was actually Dan who looked it up last time. And I was I like, I don't want to. I kind of remember. I, yeah. But have you noticed any adverse effects from eating raw potato? No, I think it made me stronger. Right. <laughs> also, thank you, Blizzard Wuffy, for five gifted subbies. The Ledge. Our word seed family. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> okay. I think we've gone to the bottom of, of this whole conundrum here. There you have it. Good, uh, good prompt, though, Ethan. Good prompt. Good prompt yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Very it, it, was, yeah. it was actually real interesting to look into the stats on all the veggies. It was very informative. I've learned a lot. Sugar cane, huh? This one still surprised me. I mean, yeah. Can you source this in another place? Because the last one we said tomatoes were like busting over everyone, and that one has tomatoes pretty low. If we need a third source on that. It's like every source is different. I mean, I'll keep looking, but. In the world. Doesn't sugarcane make too much sense, though? There's literally sugar in everywhere, everything, you know? Well, and I think it depends on how you rate it, because I just pulled up the Wikipedia article. And this one is rating it by Whoa. the gross value gross value in billions mm. of dollars, and rice is the number one. Oh, so you can measure it in metric tons? Right, I mean, I guess it makes sense because, like, when we looked at that chart, I was surprised to see watermelon on there, because that seems like a little bit of, like, a niche thing. But watermelons are very heavy, and so if we're just purely going by so weight... So what's the best way to, me to weigh this, to measure this, then? Well, I, mean, I think, feel like by economic impact, that actually does kind of indicate how much of it is, you know, being actually used around although the world. Although weight does indicate how much is being consumed, let's be honest. Yeah, see, if I sort it by weight, there you go, sugar, sugar cane, cane. At the top. But if you do it by value... Well, let's look at value. Let's rice look. Rice is the highest. Number one is rice. Two is, is pork. Mm -hmm. Man, those poor piggies, dude. Poor piggies. Fuck, that's just sad. They're so such smart critters. Neat, Cows, yeah, too. Cows are next. What's yeah, that? Chicken, and then corn, and then wheat, soybeans, eggs, potato. potato. Just straight vegetables. Just vegetables, not elsewhere specified. And then uh, tomato. So tomato is pretty high up yeah, there. It is high up there. Are you surprised by buffalo milk? Like, who's fucking... Who, what's going on with buffalo milk? Well, apparently the biggest producer is in India, and so maybe just in Asia. There's enough maybe. people in India to put that on the map. Sure. Well, it might be other uh, countries in the region, too, use a lot of it or something, and they're just the bigger producer. Yeah, and because, uh, maybe because cows are considered holy in some... In India, yeah. Yeah. There you have it, folks. We came here to learn today, and learning we did. In it. Um, oh, thank you, gifted subs from again from oh, our word seed family. family. That's forty more since last time. That's another twenty from my good friend, our word seed family. <laughs> nice name. Oh my god. You can see it getting passed out in the chat. That's crazy. That's so cool. For sixty total. Oh wow, Damn. that's so nice. Thank you, man. Our word seed between our word seed family, uh, Oreo and P. Uh, because they're keeping this channel they're, open. They're keeping us in business. Keeping our lights on. The three of you. Um, 
that's it. I mean, that's basically all I got. How long have we been going, Dan? Oh, we've been going for three hours. Because I have Britney drama, Swedish food meme. What is hanger reflex? Oh, I wanted to do that. Bring the fucking hanger okay. here. Because <laughs> you guys all did this thing. There's this trend on TikTok. And uh, apparently, if you put it on your head, a hanger, it forces your head to turn. Well, then you guys did it. I have heard about this And you hanger. found that it's real, right? I was 100% thinking this is the stupidest thing ever. This is just a stupid troll thing to get a bunch of idiots to put hangers on their head. And then I did it. I was like, what the fuck? This is working. It's, it's... What was the feeling? Was you just kind of it, eerie? It's, it's subtle, but yeah, I mean, you kind of just feel it neck when you put it on give it a shot did anyone else feel the hanger vibe i did so i just put it on like this just just like this yeah and put it on like a decent amount it'll be tight you know and then just really relax your neck and just let oh fuck it's so tight ow <laughs> there's like a i i feel i do feel you feel like a little bit of force pushing you to the side right pushing it's like, it's kind of weird, like, the hanger is somehow creating force there. Yeah, I feel the force, but it definitely does some kind of weird... I, it hurts my dome. <laughs> yeah, there's some kind of interesting force there that's hard to explain. Yeah, it, it weirded me out. Olivia, you're sitting there somewhat confused looking. <laughs> I'm not really feeling anything. There you have Olivia, it. Olivia, you're, you're rocking in your chair, though. Well, that's a personal choice, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, it may affect the results of the experiment. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try. Mine is brokey. I don't think it works, but it does hurt. It hurts. Yeah, yeah. Sam, I think you're onto something. Maybe my head's just, like, big or something. Your, stands, but your head's about to be indented. I feel like I'm my really head. stressing this hanger out. It, it my hurt head my feels head, feels all yeah. dented. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kevin. So Kevin Spacey was arrested. Did we talk about this? <laughs> we, we did. It's kind of interesting. So Spacey is like a psychotic freak. He's not just an essayist. He like, uh, wait, our our word family our, donated more. Our word family. This is too much. This is too yeah, much. Too, yo, he's much. trying to get. Yo, are you trying to our word our fans right now? I'm serious. He wants it's, us to say shout out to. The R word seed family. Yeah. No, I mean like spread the oil, the R word oil. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Or or sister. <laughs> whoever you are. That's very kind, very generous. Thank you guys. Um what was I talking about? Yeah, so Kevin Spacey is a total psycho. Um, this is so wild. There's this one f detail. Three of Kevin Spacey's accusers have died since making accusations. That's just a little yeah. fucking odd. There was around oh, 15 odd. in the U.S. Three of them mysteriously passed away within a year period. And now there's new ones overseas. Dude. That's freaky as hell. How did they pass? Was it like weird? One of them was cancer. I'm not sure the other two. Let me. No, cancer? That's hard to. I that's really hard. Blame Kevin for that one. Yeah, that's kind of hard to pin on him. <laughs> but um, let's see. He got arrested finally. He faces additional charges of causing a person to engage in penetrative acts without consent. I believe there's a word for that. It's called rape seed. <laughs> like the vegetable. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the oil type. Well, thank you. The alleged offense took place in London. Oh, so this is, he got arrested in England? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting because apparently in America they don't give a fuck about this shit. Uh, two counts of essay on a man in London. Essay on a man who's now in his 30s in London, causing him to engage in penetrative sexual activity without consent. You know? It's an interesting way of saying, you know, Rape seed. Uh, it's kind of a euphemism. It's like, no, dude. Uh, anyway, sexual assault on a man who is now in his 30s. 
and in the UK. Spacey is expected to appear in court on Thursday. That's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And they confirmed that he did show up in the country, so. In a statement released to Good Morning America at the time of the CPS announcement, Spacey said, I very much appreciate the Crown Prosecution Service's statement in which they carefully reminded the media and public that I am entitled to a fair trial and innocent until proven otherwise. Shut up, bro. We know who you are. We know you did it. You have like a billion accusers at this point. Stop it. Oh, we have a we got more gifted subs from. They're having a Oreo Resty, the, who's the, the guy that who's our other yeah, patron. I think they're having a, uh, a sub off. A sub off. Yes. Yeah, Did I just? I don't want to miss any because I mean they are. I'll let you know. Our Ramily. That's the word we're. That's what we're doing for our R word family. Ramily. <laughs> Ramily. I, I don't like. That mm. it, Ramily, Ramily, Ramily. It's an oil. Ramily, 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 Ramily. Stop! <laughs> I would never joke about that. It's just a fucking oil. <laughs> Grow up, Dan. Jesus. While I am disappointed with the decision to move forward, I will voluntarily, uh, voluntarily appear in the UK as soon as can be arranged and defend myself. He shows up in court. Let's go. <laughs> Let's I've go. retained counsel of PNP. <laughs> he better get uh, licensed over in the UK quick. Right. Here's a recap of all the allegations against uh, Kev Kev. Kev Kev. Anthony Rapp alleged that Kev Kev appeared Kev -Kev. intoxicated, make it, made advances towards him at a party <laughs> while he was 14. Stop. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Uh... Spacey stated through Twitter that he did not remember the encounter, but he owed Rap the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior if he had behaved as asserted. He's like, I don't remember it, but that sounds like me. <laughs> In other words. Uh, in 2020, Rap sued Spacey for SA and uh, intention intentionally inflicting emotional distress under the Child Victims Act. Wow. Fifteen others came forward with similar allegations. What in the Dang. bridge? Oh, yeah, that's so interesting. Kev Kev oh. was about to team up with Kev Kev. Right. Right. There was a connection. Spacey there. was about to become the head of relativity. Yeah. Right. And allegedly, I believe the story goes that someone talked someone else out of it by explaining someone else's uh history i'll just say that i don't want to get too deep kev kev man we could have had a universe where kev kev and kev kev could have been buddies we're in the same uh multiverse 15 accusers man stop it well good for the english for getting him you know there's one more thing since we're going this long i'll just bring it up there was this Sweden food meme, love, that I wanted to ask you about. People were uh -oh. joking about that Swedish hospitality is horrible. It all stemmed from this one Reddit post where someone res uh, described they were over their Swedish friend's house and dinner was ready. And they asked him to stay in their room while they ate. Mm -hmm. And that sounds uh. pretty nuts to an American. But, sure, but I, yeah. heard, I saw some people saying that's normal. Well, first of all, I wouldn't say it's uh, normal by any means. Um, I kind of talk to my friends and even my parents about it. And it seems to be more a generational thing. It happened more in the past because personally, it never happened to my, myself. Uh, and uh, but I can kind of see that it being a thing in like Swedish society and stuff like that. But you gotta remember, looking like into uh, another uh, kind of culture through the lens of another culture kind of makes things very weird. So I don't know. Sweden is a very in individualistic country. We have very little social pressures. So like you can kind of say feeding a guest is a social pressure pressure because they expect to be fed. In Sweden, uh, you don't really expect to be fed. You don't or fed. 
uh, you don't expect to get things. Uh, it's like way less, it's way easier. And there's no, there isn't these weird rules here and there. A weird rule like feeding, like offering a guest food. Okay. So let me be even more Do, specific. Can you expect water if you go to your friend's house? <laughs> well, if, let, th- Do you have to bring your own happens, water? <laughs> this thing happens especially for kids, right? That come over. Yeah. Uh, so it's not really for adults. Uh, that, that, that would be weird, obviously. Uh, but uh, I remember as a child, <laughs> I used to uh, have to be home for dinner. It's like, I should always be home for dinner. And if someone else had fed me, and I came home, home not hungry. Uh, my parents would be kind of, kind of mad that I wouldn't eat their food. Okay. Uh, so that kind of plays into it too. Uh, like, and like dinner time, Sweden is a very, very working class country. We all work all, all day, and dinner is a very like, dinner is the time when you get to spend uh, time with your whole family, and uh, that's also another reason. Uh, yeah, I could go on and on. <laughs> well, let me read this because sure. the prompt was, what is the weirdest thing you had to do at someone else's house because their culture, religion? I remember going to my Swedish friend's house and while we were playing in his room, his mom yelled that dinner was ready. And check this. He told me to wait in his room while they ate. That <laughs> shit was wild. <laughs> but then, so from this came all these incredible memes about Swedish hospitality. Yeah. Wait, is this one also related? I slept over a friend's house when we woke up. He said he's going downstairs for a few minutes. After 50 minutes, I go to the stairs to see what the fuck is happening, and they're all eating breakfast. They see me and tell me he's almost done and will be up soon. I still think about that shit 25 years later. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of wild. I don't think that, that happened to a lot of people, but obviously there's some people who experienced it, yeah. I mean, if you... Okay. So here... here uh, they probably have a friend <laughs> sitting somewhere in the house waiting for the family to finish lunch. <laughs> probably true. Sweden yeah. Gate, they're calling it. The biggest controversy to rock Sweden, actually, since, uh... Since forever. Forever, yeah. We since haven't had Bjorn, this much. Since Bjorn tried to... I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, POV... You are a Uh-oh. Swede visiting your friend's house. <laughs> no dinner? No dinner. <laughs> yeah. Forget about Swedes not feeding their play date kids. What about adults having to bring their own sheets and towels when invited to spend the night? Lived there for 18 years. Can confirm. That's true? What? No, that's not true. That seems... That's... That, like, a lot of... Obviously... Uh, you got to take account, into account that there's a lot of Danish propaganda coming in here in the mix. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, that's a very strong driving power to this negativity around Sweden. Uh, these Danes uh, obviously are very jealous of uh, the Swedish uh, culture and stuff like that. So they take uh, any moment to uh, basically pop in some lies here and there. Yeah. Okay, so this is propaganda. Yeah. Most of it, yeah. Most of it, yeah. POV, you're over at a friend's house in Sweden and it's dinner time. Harry Potter <laughs> under the stairwell. <laughs> Hospitality spectrum. Let the guests starve on the left, Sweden, mm. and on the right, right is Brazil. Force the guests to eat. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm. That's funny. Yeah, we have, I mean, I, that's the thing I kind of like with Sweden. We have very, very little social <laughs> pressures. Like, when I went to the U.S., People kind of wanted to small talk when I was in the store, just random people. Like if I said, uh, if I was standing still beside someone, they sometimes like try to small talk with me and I'm not into that shit. Uh, in Sweden, everyone walk straight ahead. Don't talk to each other. In the bus, we don't sit next to each other. It's really nice for- so I love It's pretty well. Yeah, I'm so jealous. It's so nice. I mean, yeah. sometimes you don't have a choice Kevin. though. I don't think people want to sit next to each other. It's just crowded. You, there's this meme in Sweden where we have these long buses, like, and every seat is, every double seat is just one person sitting at, at, at every place. And then before someone sits next to someone, people will start standing in the aisle. That's intense. That won't happen here. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. will definitely take the seat here. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I fucking would sit down quick. I want to stand. My stomach grumbled while at my Swedish friend's house, and they took me out to the backyard and broke both of my kneecaps. 
<laughs> that one is true, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Swedish families eating dinner, their guest. <laughs> Swedish people don't feed their guests. Explain this then, sweetie. Exactly, uh, bro. I, wait, what the fuck is this? Midsummer. 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 You haven't seen that? It's exactly. Is accurate, that from a movie too. or some shit? Yeah, a horror yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. But it's not really a horror movie. It's just reality. Looks know? like a horror right. movie. Man. It's, it's a documentary, actually. Right. Fuck the yeah. movie, dude. It's not too bad. That shot's really good. Yeah. So there yeah, you have it. Do you like horror movies? Because that's a good one. I like horror movies that are like more a mix of suspense and thriller. I don't like straight horror movies. Did you watch I think Heredity? that that I think you would really yeah. like that one then. Midsummer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you watch Heredit? What is it? Hereditary. Hereditary. Yeah, yeah Hereditary is really good. No, no. Oh, I didn't see it. same creator. Similar vibes. Uh, Hereditary scarred me for life. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, I thought it was so funny when the mom ran across the ceiling. <laughs> My friends and I were just like, no, I'll never <laughs> watch that again. Like, let me say, Blair Witch is an example of a movie I don't like because it's just horror for the sake of horror. I feel like, uh huh, uh, it is. There's really no plot, and then there, there's a lot of movies like that. Like, uh, well, that movie kind of spawned a whole subgenre of those found footage kind of uh, movies. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan. For a while, but no, but Midsummer is is uh, is more in line with what you just described. You like, Get Out movie. was a fucking awesome movie. Like, mm -hmm. Head to Toe, yeah. that's a great movie, that's you know? One. I'm so would you for the new one. The new yeah. One. Yeah. What's it called? Midsommar. No, no, it's nope. a new Jordan Peele movie. Um, oh, uh... Nope. 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 You gonna watch the new Jordan Peterson movie? Nope. <laughs> gonna see Jordan Get Peter Out. <laughs> Jordan Peterson movie? That one's called uh, Jordan Peele. The one called yeah. Zach, the Jordan Peterson one. It's not no, nope, but yes. I think. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson's new film, My Grandmother's Pubic Hair. Oh, he could make a hell of a horror movie. Actually, I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother sitting oh, by the no. bank of a swimming pool, oh, which no. was also a river. Her genital region was exposed dimly. Stop. It had the appearance too of a much thick detail, mat of man. hair. You didn't need to share all that. It's fucking weird. Yes. <laughs> so, do you, would you describe Midsummer more of a Get Out type of film, or like more of a just yeah? Creepy... Actually, mm -hmm. uh, I well, it's more it's gruesome, more twisted. I know. I didn't it's more twisted. I didn't than like. Get I know out. a lot of people love it though. I wasn't. I'm, I'm not like, watching it. Scarred me. I hate being scared. I hate don't, horror movies. So want you. Yeah, fuck that. Movie. I love horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not super big into horror movies, but I, I did enjoy that one. Let me check the reviews. They got really good reviews. They got great reviews. Yeah. It yeah. did? Yeah, it was a very like criti critically acclaimed. 83 on Rotten Tomato. 71 on IMDb. There's kind of a rule of thumb in the horror community that you A24. Gotta, okay. You, you got to give any horror movie like a 15% a bump on Rotten Tomatoes. You think critic, so? Critics are notoriously hard. Like, they don't like horror movies. I get it, though, because most horror movies are just not, the plots aren't good enough. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, even like the most acclaimed horror movies. Um, the Shining probably has shit reviews. Mm, I mean, I think Kubrick was probably immune to that bias, but... Let's see, let's see. Again, it's always interesting to go back and look. 85%, which is good, but it's not great. Like, you look at movies today. Sure. You know, it's interesting to go back and see. Like Taxi, people think uh, that's a that's a classic, right? You would think that that would have. What year was it? Is it this one, 1978? Taxi. Are you talking the, about Taxi Driver? Because you're looking at. The, yeah, no, this. You're looking at the Danny DeVito <laughs> Taxi DeVito sitcom. You expect. The, you, Andy Hoffman's first show, Taxi. All right, you would expect this to have great. Oh, it does. Yeah, that one, that one was like a, a big deal at the time. So, never mind. Contemporary reviews, pretty high. There you have it. All right, that's about it for today. Um, tomorrow morning is Leftovers Day. Leftovers. And on Friday, I'm just going to say we got something big. Big ep. Big episode on Friday. From tremendous. It's a tremendous episode, folks. People say it's the best episode ever produced. People keep, keep telling me. They tell me, it's, me they, tell they tell me no one will ever produce an episode like this. I'll just give you a big fat kiss. 
You're gonna love it. It's the best episode of anything ever made. All right. See you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's a marathon, eh? Mm -hmm. Three hours, 23 minutes. Yo, did you know that Queen Latifah is oh. playing like an action hero? That shit is so <laughs> weird. And the pun, she's like, bro, I swear to God, it's so fucking weird. Queen Latifah action show. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Bro, I'm t Sounds the equalizer. The equalizer is fucking, is fucking La Queen Latifah, dude. It's so f weird. Now, that was a good taxi movie with Queen Latifah. That was <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Jimmy Fallon, Queen Latifah. I thought, I thought maybe Ethan was making a joke about That's that. What, yeah, Tom Brady's wife was in it. What about The Equalizer? No, there was a taxi driver movie with Queen Latifah. And Jimmy fucking Fallon. Yeah. Good flag, dude. Highly recommend. No. Yeah, so here's Queen Latifah as a hard-ass, badass, uh, Batman-esque. Okay, Queen. I see it. Go off, Queen. Yeah. Why not? I don't know, bro. I'm just not buying it. I'm sorry. Just not buying it. With peace and love. She doesn't look that... It should, actually, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Was she used to be bigger? I thought she was bigger. No, nope. she's always been a queen. She's always been a queen. We love our, we love them. Shout out Equalizer. Almost got it out with getting in trouble. <laughs> Almost. Trying to <laughs> scare it a little bit by ringing up taxi. What did I say is so bad? She used to be fatter. Okay, what can I say? It's hard to be an action star if you're fat. Like, are we going to pretend like that's not true? Uh, She's not as fat. I said, it doesn't look that bad now. She lost some weight or something. She just looked up there. <laughs> you going to see? think I'm the equalizer? No, I'm not playing the equalizer. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. You could be. Ryan Gosling equalizer. Keep cranking up that music. Louder. Louder. Not me. Crank it.